Friday. It is February the 12th. Happy Lunar New Year. And it is about noon New York slash Toronto time, also known as Eastern, also known as Greenwich Mean Time minus five. <laughs> That's when we're going live today. Um, so first and foremost, before we jump into anything, we would like to do a quick tech check. The temperatures here are frigid and everything seems to play havoc with the internet. So we just wanna make sure that um, you guys can see us all right and hear us okay. And then we will launch ourselves into today's special live stream. <laughs> I'd like to wish everyone a very happy Lunar New Year. Mm -hmm. It's the year of the ox. The year of the yes. metal ox. The metal ox. The lucky metal the ox. The lucky metal ox. Yes. It's a good year for everyone. It's a good year. It should be a good year. Hey, anything has to be an improvement over last yes. year. The year of the rat can leave. The poor little thing. He can... <laughs> you got your cheese. You can leave now. You, can, you got more than your fair you share of cheese. You got more than your fair <laughs> share of cheese. You're the ox. I love it. <laughs> big, big, powerful animal. I'm yeah. really, really excited about that. So uh, well, things are going to look up. They can only look up. Things have to look up. So we are getting our tech check in. A uh, big five out of five from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Wonderful, wonderful. Loud lovely. and clear, says Cameron. Super duper. Great. Uh, Patricia, I can hear great. Yes. Marvelous. Okay. So once Sight again. Sight and sound, says Kelly. Thumbs up. So it sounds like we are good to go. We're good to go. Okay. Um, like, like we also say, so in case you're new here, um, our live streams are never as clear. Pixelation uh, isn't the best uh, as some of our videos <laughs> because our internet isn't so great. But what we're doing isn't super visual intensive. Um, and we've put together a free printable for you guys today. Um, this is our granny square poncho layout. This is a printable sheet you can get over on the tools page of our website. Mr. and Stitches will be putting that link in the chat every so often. Yeah, I'll do that right now, actually. It's got, uh, just look for today's um, live stream thumbnail photograph, and it'll be a, the PDF file sitting underneath it. So um, feel free to download it. You can view it on your, your e-reader, or you can print it off. And it's meant to go along with not only today's tutorial, but if you're into granny squares and you're keeping a project journal like I am, this is one of those little sheets you want to keep with all of your granny square patterns because it's one of the things you can do with granny squares. And we're going to talk about how to put together a multi granny square poncho today. So we do have a granny square poncho tutorial for those of you who have been with us for a while where we used four really large ones. So you can make a really cool poncho using four really large granny squares, but we're going to show you how to use little granny squares today. <laughs> You're doing a lot of giggling. I'm giggling because um, one of our channel members, Katie, has shown up and she has discovered the new emoji. <laughs> she found the bad signal. <laughs> yes. So we're going to call this the Katie, the help, Katie help signal. signal. Yes. So whenever, if Katie is in the chat, yes, if Katie's and, and whenever Jada mentions something, like, like what, our granny square like the poncho. Granny square poncho. Yes. If Katie's, uh, if, if someone needs help, just use the new yes. uh, Katie help signal. She can go and find it. And she'll find it for you. Uh, yes, Mr. Very Katie, good at that. Katie was she'll very, find the title. Katie was very gracious to, uh, to, to, to design a, a help signal for us. And Mr. and Stitches realized that it would be Super helpful if it was an emoji so that he can <laughs> press that emoji button anytime he needs help. <laughs> oh, it looks like everyone's using uh, the, the, the uh, Katie Help I love it. I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> yeah, so um, we are going to do that today. We are going to talk about how to lay out a poncho. Um, this sheet has got all of the important information you need about laying out a poncho and figuring out sizing. And we're going to talk all the way through that today. And I'm going to start actually building my poncho. Um, we did these granny squares last year when we were playing our granny square game. So these are all the squares from, uh, these are 20, there's 25 of them here. I only need 24 today, but I have 25 of them that are in addition to the ones that we made. And then I turned into a scarf, which I have been sitting here leaning against because it's lined and it's nice and soft and squishy. And uh, it's you're getting to... lots of compliments oh. on the way you look today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And someone says you look beautiful even when you're pixelated. <laughs> thank you. I think actually the pixelation helps, you know. <laughs> I'm loving the hair today. It, it reminds me of uh, Captain Jane yes, from I'm Star Trek. Channel a little Captain Jane yeah, today. It. Yes. And Let's I think... show everyone the sides. It's a uh... mm, sexy <laughs> in a 19 or 1800 sort of way. <laughs> It's 
it's a uh, yeah. It's, Ooh, it's... traditional. <laughs> is that what, is that what Ooh, I should have said? Extremely modest. Ooh, extremely yes. modest and buttoned up. <laughs> Loving it. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> It's out of my face. That's that's the most important thing. Everyone loves your hairdo. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. It's uh, it's when you have long hair, it's fun to kind of just I don't know, goof around with it, pin, mm -hmm. pin it up here. Long it now. got really my long. Goodness, it's, that yeah. happened fast. I know. Well, lockdown. I was watching you put it put it up, and you were like had it up here. I was like, whoa, that grew. Yeah, and I've been hiding it. It's been yeah, kinda you've been kind of stuffed up in various. <laughs> Not to mention it's so cold. I mean, I know it's cold in a lot of places in North America right now, but boy, is it cold here in Canada. Um, and yes. we're, I think, in one of the warmer areas. It's still yes. minus 22 degrees Celsius. Oddly, we're in one of the warmer areas. Minus it 22 minus Celsius. 22? Yep. I think Shell was in the chat talking, uh, saying it was minus 22. It's plus. cold. Yeah. And then um, I was just talking, I was chatting with Kathy on Wednesday. And she was saying it was like minus 36 where she is. That is, that's Celsius. What? <laughs> that is cold. Yes, that must be the Alberta. It's got to be out towards Alberta. Saskatchewan. Yeah, Kathy, if you're there, let us let us know the general area. Minus 36? That is cold. Without the wind? Without the wind, yeah. Booyaka. Yeah, that is some cold winter. But, you know, we always get some. It's just, I don't know, I was kind of hoping it would skip over us this year. It's like the, 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 we get told, hey, it's going to be an early spring. And then the groundhog says, yeah, I'm going to go hide. It's going to get really cold for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Shell says... Jada, in a good way, your hair always looks fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> it's very teacher. She it says, is. In a good in way. In a good way, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, like I said, it's up and out of my way. Minus 20. Yeah. Minus 20. Yeah, it's cold. It's... Um, we have uh, Mackenzie's in the chat today. and She has a question of the day. Oh, well, let's have it. Let's have it. For everyone, including you. All right. We'll start with that, and then we'll jump right into uh, to Poncho So Lou. everyone share in the chat. So this is uh, the question. From Mackenzie. From Mackenzie. Okay. Would you rather go see a new state oh. or sit in your house crocheting? Go visit a new state, or I guess in our case, a new province, yeah. um, or sit at home. And Well, honestly, right now, I would love to visit a new state or province. As things have been lately, I would say a trip would I've be nice. Pretty much just, yeah. It's <laughs> Even just, just been, a drive. <laughs> it's, it's just been house to food store and back again <laughs> for, for 11 months day. now. <laughs> yeah, I would love to go and see a new I guess you could I'll drive I, I'll drive you crochet yeah so you kind of best of both get, worlds, get best oh, of both like worlds. That. how's that I can do it for a little while then and I get kind of car little, sick yeah. I have to kind of like is it the outside. swerving is it the swerving I do it makes you car sick <laughs> <laughs> try and crochet that <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> Let's see what everyone yeah. answered here. I would um, love to go on a on a road trip and see another province or a, a, I'm seeing, a state. There's a lot of states. I've you never know been what? To. I'm seeing almost a full, full uh, almost a 50 50 mix mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. some people would rather stay home and crochet, and some people would rather go visit a new state. I would love to see a new place. I would yeah. love to see something new right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yes, I would bring my crochet with me, but mostly I would be like eyes out the window. <laughs> Um, crochet, crochet. Yeah, I'd about 50 50. 50 50? Yeah, that, cool. that'd be my guess. All right. Um, thank you, Mackenzie. That was fun. Yeah, now that was, I'm a, thinking good, about that was a good trips. one. <laughs> What's Mackenzie's answer? I want to know Mackenzie's answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep an eye on the chat. I'm curious. In the meantime, um, I just want to tell everybody who, as long as you're probably all put popping in over on the tools page of our website, and we have a link, uh, Mr. and Stitches will put that in the description box <laughs> and we'll also put it in the chat every so often here. Yes, so make sure you go get it. Um, and it's it will free. be, it's free. It'll be a pinned comment as well after this live stream has ended. So it, it should sort of show up top somewhere underneath our video. It's the Granny Square Poncho layout. This is on um, how to size your squares and figure out layout um, and kind of just how many squares you need, the whole thing. So this is sort of the, that's a little principle. Keep it in your project journal with all of your um, crochet, your granny square pro uh, granny square patterns, because you can technically use any granny square design to make a poncho, which is why this is kind of a fun and exciting sort of project. I'm going to be using the ones we made for um, during the granny square game because I did say I wanted to make a poncho. I have enough to make a poncho. We're going to talk about 
finishing and sizing and all that important stuff. So um, please feel free to download that. It's totally free and it's a nice little addition to your project journals. And it also helps uh, us explain what's going on today because there's a lot of layout information, like there's actual um, diagrams and stuff. And since we're pixelated here, we wanted to make sure you all had something nice and clear to see. Um, so please feel free to grab that. Print it out, look at it on your, your iPhone or whatever. That's uh, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> and let's go. Okay, so one little sip of coffee here. While you get started, I have to refill my coffee. All right, well, you can go ahead and do that. I am going to show you, this is, this is the stack. So hopefully today, I am going to start building the poncho today. This is the stack of squares. Um, there's 25 of them here. I need 24 for the the main poncho. Um, I'll explain all that as we go, but this is the stack that I'm dealing with. And they're all sort of these crazy different colors from having done the granny square game. Just love it. I also have some other fun little um, packages of granny squares that I just sort of wanted to, to have to sort of show you guys. Um, granny squares, as you know, you can make them in different sizes. You can use different fabrics or like fibers. You can use different hook sizes. Um, here's another pile that's uh, all the like kind of, they all end up being sort of purpley. Uh, I go through phases where I just want to use up scraps and I end up turning them into granny squares and I'll make sets that are all identical. Even if I don't know what I'm going to do with them because down the road, eventually there's some kind of a project that I can um, put use a bunch of granny squares for because you can, you can use granny squares for so many things. And today we're going to use the bigger ones here to make a poncho. But um, you could use really, really little ones too. So let me explain. First, we're going to talk about measurements. So the first thing you want to have is a measuring tape. This is really handy. The poncho concept that we're going with is a um, square. So I'm going to hold this carefully. First question, what size are the squares? That's exactly what we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, the squares, this is how to figure out how big to make your squares. This is this is the most important measurement, and it's just a baseline. So there's a lot of room for maneuverability here. You take your measuring tape, and you measure your head circumference. And when you're measuring your head circumference, you go over your ears and over your forehead. So make sure you get all the way around your head. I know that my head circumference is about 22 inches. Um, that's about, what, 55 centimeters? So 55 centimeters, 22 inches, thereabouts. Um, in the layout, I've used my own head measurements as the example, but obviously you want to take your own measurement. The reason you want your head circumference measurement is because your poncho needs to fit over top of your head. So if you make a really tiny sort of, sort of neck hole that fits your neck, you might not be able to get it over your head. So first and foremost, you want to have that measurement written down somewhere so that you know how big the hole of your neck, the neck hole on your poncho needs to be. And that is the minimum size. Very important measurement. You can't go any smaller than that. Otherwise, you'll be struggling to pull it on over your head. And we don't want to do that. Um, okay, secondly, the layout, the first row of your granny squares is going to have eight squares in it. So this is the simple um, sort of medium sized granny square layout. In our little printable here, this is, the, this is the first little diagram we're talking about. You'll see a grid of nine squares and the very center square is the neck hole. So you that leaves you with eight squares and that's why you have eight granny squares in your first row. All of these squares all kind of join up. And then like, so you could lay out, for example, nine squares and then just pull the middle one out and that's your neck hole. And another thing I want to show you, because sometimes people have trouble kind of envisioning this. I'm just going to use a little bit of paper here. Get a nice square piece of paper. Okay. So imagine that this square piece of paper was eight granny squares, and there's a sort of a big space in the middle. I'm going to actually draw a square right in the middle. We have a super chat from Cherry. Hey, Cherry. Big thank you to Cherry. Cherry made it high. Thank Cherry you. Cherry says, I'm so chick in the joint squares. You look so cute today. <laughs> thank you, Cherry. <laughs> this is also, we're going to talk about joining too, but it's, none of this is difficult. So I, I just really encourage you all to just dive right in. So here is our square. Imagine that this is eight granny squares all joined 
going to talk about that in a bit. And there's a there's a sort of a hole in the middle. This is this is the exact same shape as the rest of your granny square. So if I say you lie out sort of nine, three by three by three, you just pull the very middle one out. That's going to be your neck hole. So this is why we want to know our head circumference measurement. What you're actually doing is creating this. So I'm going to cut out that square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number nine is in the middle. You've got eight squares, three across the top, three across the bottom, and one on either side. So there's eight granny squares. You take the one in the middle out, and that's your neck hole. And what you're doing is creating this. And there is the yoke, I guess, of your poncho. So that's how it's going to sit. This is this is your neck. And of course, the longer bits sort of go down your arms. This is your shoulders here. And this is it coming down to the front and also the back. So, so this square turns into this. That's how it drapes, it hangs. You can use your little sheet measuring tape as the head for the poncho. I don't, can I? Put it in the front. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Will it fit? It's kind there of you go. 1980s. That's everyone, that's, that's everyone wearing their pon <laughs> their paper poncho. Yeah, so that's that's <laughs> row that's how row one basically. So you're, what we're doing is we're going from a flat visual. There's your eight granny squares, and and then what it, this is what it ends up looking like the first row hanging on you, and then you just kind of keep adding granny squares to that, and that's what the other diagrams on this printable look like. So if that helps you visualize, great, because this is pretty important. Sometimes people kind of go, I don't understand, but then fold it in half, and that's what you you end up with. Now remember, your granny squares uh, are squares, so whatever their length, their measurement is on the width, it'll be the same on the length. The only difference is that this measurement from here to here is always longer. So this measurement, this measurement, this measurement, they're all exactly the same because it's a square, but from corner to corner, it's longer. And this is how they hang on you. So whatever the width is, don't think of that in terms of it falling down your body, just that, that measurement, it's actually this measurement. So whatever size your granny squares are, they will be actually, they'll end up giving you more length as you build your granny poncho. Okay, so that's that little explanation out of the way. Cup of coffee. <laughs> Fuel up on the caffeine. So how do you figure out how big to make your squares? It's so easy. You want to make sure that your that center hole, that one square shape, there's going to be four squares that border it. So I'm going to use my pen here. I'm going to draw those squares out. And like we said, on the on the printable, this is this is diagram number one. This is row one of the poncho layout that we're all kind of looking at right now. But I like to have a little visual to go with here. It helps. Okay. So there's our eight granny squares, and you'll see that four of them border the neck hole. So four of them border the neck hole, which means like, for example, if you took the middle square out, if you laid out nine, you took the middle one out, you've still got four that border that neck hole. Well, that measurement needs to be at least your head circumference measurement. So you take your head circumference measurement, divide by four, and that's how, how wide each of those squares needs to be. And of course, when you make one square, you're gonna make them all absolutely identical. So all you have to do is find the measurement for one square, make that square, and then you make all the rest identical. So that's the only measuring you have to do. I'm gonna say that in a different way. You have four squares that border that neck hole and that those four measurements or this length, this side, four of those, boom, 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 all the way around. All four of those sides have to be at least the measurement of your next, your head circumference. Bigger is always fine. For example, my head circumference, 22 inches, you divide that by four and you get five and a half inches. So my squares have to be at least five and a half inches across. They have to be at least five and a half inches. That way I know when I've got four of them all sort of like lining the neck of my, the neck hole of my poncho, that will total 22 inches. And of course there's always a bit of stretch and I know it'll fit over my head. That's the minimum size they need to be. These ones I think are nine inches. So let me just measure that. Yes, so my granny square game, granny squares, 
are nine inches across. So I had, they had to be at least five and a half inches. Mine are nine inches They're That's fine. So I've got more than enough granny square size to play with. And that basically going to be, they're going to sort of sit like this one will sit up here. And then this one will sit like this. And then this one will sit like this. And this is kind of how it sits on you. Looking good. <laughs> Looks good already. But I want to, the easiest way to do it is to actually just lay out your nine squares. So once you know how big they need to be, for example, mine need to be at least five and a half inches across. I made them bigger. Bigger is always better because you can always make the neck hole smaller, but you can't always make it bigger. So always err on the side of having larger granny squares. Um, if you're um, a, a little larger up top, maybe you've got like quite a quite a broad set of shoulders, or you've got a little more bosom. Um, shelf. <laughs> a, a nice, we discussed a better shelves. shelf than me. We yeah. discussed shelves in the past live stream. <laughs> if you're if you're a little bit bigger up top, then then go with the bigger squares because basically the larger your squares are, the wider and longer your your poncho is going to get faster. So you don't have to worry about oh I don't have enough or it's going to be too tight. So always err on the side of larger squares. Mine are almost twice the width across that they need to be in order for me to have the right neck hole. But I just want to make sure that that first measurement is making sure that your neck hole is big enough so that your poncho goes over your head. That's the only thing you have to worry about. And as long as your squares are that size or bigger, so your head circumference measurement divided by four, whatever that, that, that measurement is, as long as your squares are that size or larger, you're good to go. <clears throat> so then the fun part, Make any granny square you want, measure it. So these are the ones I'm going with. They're nine inches across. I know that's more than, than enough width. And now I can start joining them together. So I'm just going to put all this aside. We have a new member. Hey! A big welcome to Tony. Hey, Tony. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We need a little welcome song. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> We have one. We do. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take eight granny squares. I'm just literally gonna grab them as they come off the pile. I haven't planned this out. It doesn't really matter because they're all kind of crazy and random. And I'm gonna sew three together. I'm gonna sew another three together. And then I'm gonna sew one to um, one in the middle of each of those lengths. So. Nothing fancy here. Uh, I prefer to sew as opposed to single crochet or slip stitch because I feel like I have more control over it. I can move a little faster and the sewing doesn't take up as much yarn. Um, so I'm just going to randomly grab any old thing. There, blue, that'll do. Um, you don't, you can sort of sew your squares right sides together, wrong squat sides together. It doesn't really matter if you're, if you're sewing. Um, if you're single crocheting, or slip stitching. Um, it depends on where you want the ridge. So if you're single crocheting, that will create a ridge. And if you want that to show on the front of your, your squares, then you want to, to do that sort of holding them right, right sides out or wrong sides facing together. And then you would just sort of single crochet across the top. And then that creates that kind of cool ridge. We've got a couple of joining videos. So I'm not going to talk too much about like how I to have do a it, question for you. But yes, if you needed to estimate the whole size. Yep like a, a one size fits all type. What, what would you say would be the right size for that? Um, that's a really good question. Eight inches, 10 inches? Because, because it's okay if it sits a bit low. Like It's okay if it sits a little low. Yeah, a little um, open. But you, generally you want, generally you wear a poncho because you want to kind of warm up. You want to be warm. So the closer to your neck, the better. Um, and of course, everybody's a bit different. So some people have, not only do we all have different sized heads, but some people have a lot more hair. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, getting something on over their head is, is a bit difficult. And then, of course, if you're making it for kids, they have smaller heads. So you don't need like a 22 inch circumference um, hole for like a five-year-old. Yes, because of that's course not. Too It'll big. just fall right through them. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why I say it's good to have a general idea of the, the comfortable circumference of measurement of the head. Yes. Um, and then divide that number by four, and then- Obviously measuring Make it bigger. Best. Yeah, of course. Obvi just make it bigger. Um, like just I make said, it bigger. I'm using, yeah, bigger is always better. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just, my squares are nine inches. Eight inches is good. If you think about like granny squares come in a lot of just standard sizes, there's usually a six inch square, an eight inch square, 
a 10 inch square, a 12 inch square, a 16 inch square. Those are sort of the common sizes for most granny square patterns. If you consider a six inch square, well, six times four is 24. That's already 24 inches around. That would fit over a lot of heads. I have another question for yes. you. Let's say you make it mm -hmm. and it's too big. Mm -hmm. Can you just crochet like a border yep. around it? That's like why add I say like a board, kind of thicken it up. Yep. That's why I say you can always always there air the side go. larger because bigger bigger is always better because if you wind up with a you know I a gigantic was, neck space. I think that's what Shell was talking about yeah. in the chat. It's we actually have that down here. Whoa! We have a it's juicy super down chat here, but I'll get to that later. Where are my instruments? Where are your instruments? There's the Yuki. Mr. Uh, you were so excited dealing with the Katie help signal that you Yes, you Katie, to... I love Katie's new help single, <laughs> signal. Um, Katie's been using it and so have others. Excellent. I love that. Um, it's uh, it's kind of hard to read, but it does say Katie on it. <laughs> this is a super chat from Teddy. Teddy. Thank Big you, Teddy. thank you to Teddy. If you had smaller granny squares, mm -hmm. could you start with 16 grannies as your row one to get to get a big enough neck opening? Yes. So, for example, I have little ones right here. These ones are really, really small. Um, and so because they're really small, I know that I need to have at least two of them going across the edge. So what you would do is instead of having a layout of eight, you would... Lie them down, lay them out. So I'm just going to lay them out here so that you would have the equivalent of two squares bordering. So, for example, consider these two squares the same as one of these. So what you would do is you would lay them all down. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. But lay out these ones first. So lay out the ones in the center, these four that border your neck hole first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you'll probably notice that you only have to put in four extras in the corner. So instead of eight, you've actually got uh, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's 12. So these two, these two, these two, and these two, and then you still have a little corner space. It actually ends up, ends up being 12 if you're using the smaller things. But all you have to do is look at that, look at that, draw that diagram for yourself, lay them out around the neck in a square, and then fill in the corner spaces. And you'll notice that like, I can't show you this because they're lying on the table. <laughs> but if you have two, and then you have two, and then you have two at the bottom and then two yeah, at the you side. You can actually see most of it on screen. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what's happening here is that you actually, see if, if, I if you can tip it down a little bit. a little bit. So you've got your layout. This all, these two equal one big square. These two equal one big square, these two. So here's your neck hole. Well, you'll notice you've got a perfect corner that fits these little squares. So you only end up needing 12, not 16. Um, and that's why it's really important to kind of lay it all down. So these two would, if I had more of these purple squares, these are so cute. Um, then that's all you need. You have 12. Adorable. And then same thing. If your neck hole ends up being just a little too big, you can always single crochet around on the inside, decreasing at the corners as opposed to increasing at the corners. We're going to talk about that. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. So We're I hope that that answers. So you don't need 16. You just need 12, but just draw yourself the diagram and lay them out, lay out the, <laughs> the four that lay out the ones that would border the neck hole, that perfect square, and then fill in the corners. D Dizzy beat me to the dings. <laughs> so we have a couple of super chats right. and a new member. Hey. So a big welcome to Kelly Thank for you. joining. Thank you. And another Kelly. Is that the same Kelly? It is the same Kelly. So we got a super chat from Kelly. And, and we joined. got a, a new membership from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly says, Welcome. miss the granny game. <laughs> Just started an 18-inch doll cowgirl outfit oh, with a hat oh. for a friend's daughter. Love it. Everything is ice here, not fun. Mm, so I you're know. in the cold, too. It's, cold. it's a deep snap. Oh, what do they call warm. them? 
polar vortex. A cold snap polar vortex. <laughs> Every year there's a new a new they have name. A new thing. Yeah, cyclone bomb or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like, like it, and it's all like uh, military related yeah, for some it reason. All, it all sounds very frightening. It's like a cyclone bomb and and uh, something explosion. Vortex. It's like can't it just be cold and warm. Yeah, can't just be and hot and windy? cold. <laughs> Mr. Weatherman, yeah, you want to dial it down a little bit? <laughs> anyway. Um, where was I? So we got to the Kelly super chat and this is from Sherry. Sherry. Super chat from Sherry. Thank Sherry you, says, Sherry. could we just go old school mm -hmm. and crochet a draw string for the neck? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what you might want to do in that case is just crochet a tall stitch, like a double crochet all the way around. And every third or fourth stitch do a chain space. So Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, double crochet, that kind of a thing. So every third or fourth, make it, instead of a double crochet, make it a chain, skip one. And then you'll have nice little open spaces, and then you can do a drawstring and everything. But you you also might want to just add a couple <laughs> rows of that, just so it kind of comes up a little bit and gives you something to kind of cro like to, to pull it around. Absolutely. There are so many ways to finish off a poncho granny square, granny square poncho style. Um, which I, I think I've mentioned a couple more <laughs> down at the bottom. Just Anna finishing. Kate is also says she misses the granny square game. It's fun. It's a kind of a frantic, frantic a little bit frantic, a little crazy, a little crazy, a little like frantic. like the weather up here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anna Kate says I'm I'm from South Carolina and have been to Canada. Y'all's cold weather needs military technology to describe it. <laughs> that is a weapons grade cold. <laughs> yes, especially it if sure you're in, is. It, especially if you're in the middle of the country. Yes, in the if you're Saskatchewan, in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, uh, Alberta, Manitoba, Alberta, it can get real cold. Even up there. the capital, out, um, uh, Ottawa, gets cold. But yes. then let's not forget the the Arctic. Let's get up into the Northwest Territories and the Yukon and then alert. Oh, forget that. Forget I mean, it. Go right up into the... <laughs> it's pitch black. Where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> All right. So here are my first two. So these would be the two of the first three that go across the top of my neck opening. And I'm just going to keep keep on keeping on so here. So Deborah, Deborah, uh, who's also a channel member, says that it's also cold in Texas. Cold in Texas? Yeah. So... Um, I mean, compared to what they usually have, so that's interesting. What's, is, what's, is the whole is the the whole continent seeing a cold snap? Um, maybe. Are we? Are we? I don't know. Um, yeah. What's going Isn't on? Isn't Texas usually uh, like a hot area, well, hot state in the summer? Warm I'm state. I'm sure. Like you know, it's it's still North America. So. Um, mm. What Good point. what is. I would like to know. Nine what, degrees. What's the, is, is that, that Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit, I assume? That it, sounds cold. Nine degrees Fahrenheit would be cold. Well, um, I know that. How pretty those squares turn out. Aren't they nice? They're so cute. They look excellent. Hey, we've got some super chats. Oh my gosh. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So this is from Trixie. Trixie, thank Trixie you. Trixie says, hi everyone. Hope everyone is okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Trixie. Thank you very much. Yes. We also is, hope everyone is okay. We hope everybody's hanging in there. Uh, this is from Monique. Big Monique. thank you to Monique. Thank you. And I think I saw another one in there. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find okay. it. Okay. I am using whatever yarn comes out of my little bag um, to sew my, my squares together. So I'm using the whip stitch. Nothing fancy. I'm trying to keep my stitches as neat as possible because they are visible but i kind of like that effect because this is such a, a zany looking poncho as it is um and that that it, i like the way the sort of the stitches sort of stand out so i'm just like i said nothing fancy i want to join all uh -huh. eight of my squares together and then i will hold it up and i will show you what that that first row looks like and i will put it on and you can sort of see that magical transformation from uh from hollow square to Yoke. <laughs> I'm just hung up on it. There we go. I 
I'd like to know if there's anyone from the uh, from the east um, in the chat celebrating the Lunar New yes, Year. Yes, yes. Let us know. Yes, we know that. Uh, uh, let us know um, if uh, where where you are, what country good, you're. Good 12, you're in. 12 hours into it, at least right now. Yeah. You're the ox. I'm seeing some Arabic, so I'd like to say hello, but I don't, I can't understand. <laughs> we don't know what that says. I, I don't know oh. what it says. I do see the hi. Hello. <laughs> I can read that. Welcome. I think that, I, I mean, I'm assuming it's Arabic. It looks like that type of script. Oh, pretty and fancy Yeah, very looking. like fancy looking. Yes. Yeah, Pam says winter blizzard crossing USA. Yes. So we're all getting we're all getting hit with a cold snap. Yeah, we're we're on track to get something. A weather bomb, <laughs> weather explosion. Weather explosion. Yes, we're on track to get something like that tomorrow. <laughs> I think it's pretty quiet out there right now. Yeah, it's calm, quiet, but cold. Very cold. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so we got another super chat from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Big thank you to Sherry. Sherry says, what you are having is not a temperature. It is a severe lack of temperature. <laughs> yes, still, still snowing in western Washington? W-A. That's Washington, I think. Yeah, yes, I think that's Washington. Help us out. You guys have got like 50 some odd states and we only have like 13. So. Yeah. Pretty sure. And our geography is not that great to begin with. That's, um, yeah, it is it is cold. But, I mean, it's February, you know? Yeah, I mean, it is kind of normal. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was Washington. Yeah, I got it right. right. Woo! <laughs> Do I still crochet after Jada taught me some? Not really. <laughs> um, I require many, many, many more lessons. I'm too busy taking photographs for Jada yeah. and editing stuff. Yeah, Mr. And Stitches. She, she's got, she's got the, the yarn whip on me pretty good. <laughs> Mr. And Stitches doesn't have time. Oh, but I will say, um, this afternoon... Um, uh, we we treated ourselves to a little lunar That's the new next year emoji, a yarn thing. A, a, a yarn whip a yarn whip. Well, what would that look like? Well, we have the pool noodle. I'm just gonna cut it. What would that look like? I don't know. Maybe we'll get Katie to design it. <laughs> she's a good good designer. She's a she's the uh, she's our new emoji she's, designer she's the too. New, she's the, just the new graphic promote, designer. She's getting promoted left, right, and center. <laughs> there. Okay. I don't even, <gasps> not even. Oh my goodness. We have a super chat from Kathy. Kathy. That says there's some news from Texas. Oh? Te Texas had a hundred car pile up in Dallas. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Six people confirmed dead. That's oh terrible. A hundred car? What happened? Oh, it's icy. They're it's not, icy in, in, in Texas right now. And I, yeah, I bet the you that's. Dry, the, the roads. It's oh, icy. Is that what's oh going on? Gosh. Ice in Texas? That's. That's that's is is everything flipping upside down? Do you know what? <laughs> we 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 have big pileups here. We do frequently in the winter because I think it we're gets a icy. A little more um, but used to the weather changing, but we do a little. We, like, I mean, yeah, every but, year. Oh my gosh, that is oh that's 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 terrible really news. really upsetting. Oh. We'll have to check that out after the stream. That is very upsetting. Oh my goodness! There's updates on that news already, and it's even it's even worse. Great. That's just. <laughs> Let us know. Is it because of the, it's the ice? Because right? of ice on the highways? It's, it's um it's icy. I think I read a little a little blurb about that earlier today, and it said something about ice on the roads in Texas, and I thought, yeah, they wow. don't have the equipment. They they're not used to like plowing and salting on a regular basis, and uh, yeah. Wow. So it's it, yeah, it really are in the middle it, of it. Oh, it was black ice. That's in Texas. the most dangerous. Yeah, because you it's can't the thinnest, see it. it's the thinnest and uh yeah. you can't even see it. Oh. oh man, I can't believe that. Wow, gee whiz. Wow, so we're uh, um well, it's cold everywhere. It's cold everywhere. Well then 
isn't it a good thing that those of us who are able to be at home are at home and yeah, safe, safe and crafty. Yep. We're getting con confirmations. Lots of people in Texas in the chat today. Bella says, yes, it, we had black ice. Texas is on my bucket list. I want to visit Texas. I understand they have like. Oh really... my goodness. That's terrible. They should put out a, a broad statement and tell everyone to just stay off the stay roads. Stay off the roads until they got know, sorted let out. It, let, it, uh, let it melt. They, sometimes they do that here. I know. I don't know if anybody's watching from British Columbia, but they, they you know, so, sometimes have similar issues where they, they get like a little more snow than they're used to dealing with. And mm -hmm. they just, oh, yeah, it happens. they don't yeah. have the road clearing equipment because yeah, why would they? They don't need it regularly. Yeah. So they just don't have so it. So they're. They're bogged down getting it all cleaned up oh my and sorted goodness. out. So this must this must be this must have just happened. That's terrible. Wow. That's very very nerve wracking. I uh I, I oh that must be so frightening too. Just to, even if you're just sort of like tra trapped in it, like even if you're okay, hmm. but you're just sort of stuck. If there. anyone if anyone is uh, in Texas watching our live stream right now, we have a public service announcement. <laughs> yes. Doo, doo, doo. Stay home. Drive very carefully mm -hmm. home. Yes. Park your car and go crochet in the house yes, with go. a hot cup of something. Get yourself a nice hot cup of something. Yeah. Drive very slow we and, and break early. Um, uh, let the car roll to a stop and break early. When when we say stay <laughs> safe, stay crafty, we really mean it. We yeah. really do mean stay safe and stay crafty. All right, I'm zipping along here, guys. I'm just, um, I'm going to, my intention is to get the majority of this poncho made today. So while we're all hanging out. Today we're going for a marathon it's, live it's stream. It's a marathon live stream. So I want to see how far I get. Um, we were, every once in a while, you'll probably hear us mention. I might like, have to put another pot of coffee you on might. Keep us keep us alert. You may have to do that. Um, um, I've got a super chat to announce and a big welcome to Danielle. Danielle. Who has joined our channel welcome membership. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. Thank we you We really much. appreciate that. Yes. It uh, definitely helps support us and keep us going. It does. Getting those patterns and videos out as much as possible. It helps a lot, yes. Um, so this super chat's from Anna Kate. Anna Kate says, Yep, it's not that we can't drive in the snow here in the south. It's just that our cities don't own the equipment yeah. to melt snow and clear roads. Yeah, yeah, understood. Yeah. Of course, because they're not they're they're not necessary on a regular basis. Yeah, so why, why would you? Because that equipment is big and expensive. expensive. So why would you invest in that? Yeah. Um, I mean, like Jada was saying, it have we do have the equipment, but in some areas like BC, they don't bother. Then they get you like, have they get a centimeter of snow but, and yeah. the same thing happens. Yeah, and then and then it's it's dangerous. Yeah, it's even you know what here we have we're equipped for it. We, we, we still have, have all that equipment, yeah. and and there's still like we'll get a huge snowstorm, and there will be like you know the news that morning will be there five hundred um what are they called like little bump fender benders fender benders like yeah. five hundred people in the of, ditch. Like, an hour. Yeah. So it happens, um, you know, and then and then the cops can't keep up and, you know, especially the first one or two when when people aren't used like they're used to driving in this in, in the, the summer, good weather yeah. and that that happens. Yeah. Every year it, it's like we have to learn how to drive in the winter again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'm surprised to hear that it's that it's cold that far down. That's uh, that's. Well, there you go. It's yeah, that is how cool it is here. My goodness. No wonder we were freezing. Yeah, it has been really cold. Yeah. The um, in fact, it's so cold the house has been cracking. Mm -hmm. Is anyone um, is anyone trying to uh, put together some granny squares along with Jada live in the chat today? Yeah, what's everybody working is, on? Is anyone working on a poncho or granny squares or share share what you're working on? And also, if you are celebrating the Lunar New Year yeah. and you're from um, some of the Eastern countries, what we would call Eastern countries, let us know in the chat. Yeah. Um, if And we'd love to know, too, like how you're celebrating. I know a lot of people are doing virtual stuff um, because that's kind of what we have to do right now. <laughs> 
cooking fancy food. Fancy food. Terry's working food. on the MMAM blanket. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That's awesome. Bunch of granny squares. I don't sew as fast as I crochet. Working on scarves. Big wrap. Mm, something cozy. Mm -hmm, a blanket. The Daisy granny squares. Awesome. I love those. They're so cute. Perfect for the, <laughs> the nice weather ahead. Tori says, I'm working on my mental health. Yes. You guys are great and help a lot. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tori. And thank you for being a channel member. We, yeah. We appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're all working on our mental health. It's, yes. It's hard. It's not easy to stay positive. But... I can only slap myself in the face so many times a day. When I reach, is that what that noise when is? I reach 50, I start to wear out a little bit. <laughs> Is that what that noise is? <laughs> you thought it was the house cracking. I thought it was the house cracking. No, no it's you. You thought it was the cold weather. No, it's me <laughs> trying to keep my mental health in check. Or just stay awake. I'm up, I, or st <laughs> I'm up to 50, 50 uh, slaps a day to myself. <laughs> um, We got another super chat. Hey, thank you. Wow. So I got to, and I got to Danielle. Let me see here. Um, this is from Lori. Thank you, Lori. Big thank you to Lori. Lori says, I just wanted to say YouTube brighten my week every time I log on. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. And you guys brighten us too. Yeah. It is uh, the circle of inspiration. We talk about it all the time. A super chat from Trixie. Thank you, Trixie. Five pounds. Hey. I think that's the pound sign. It's that, it's that so Trixie is in the, the UK. The UK. Um, it's it's much later in yes, the day for Trixie. About it's about five, almost five, six. Just yeah, almost six p.m. I believe. Lovely. About dinner time. Um, Trixie says I'm making the granny squares to make the poncho. Yay. Awesome. La -la, love that's it. That's great. Uh, Sakura is finishing. Hi, Sue is finishing the February Mighty Mile a Minute uh, strip and working on the hot chocolate scarf. That was wicked quick. Oh, just a yes. little note on the um, the Mile where's a Minute. Our, uh, where's our, uh, our help signal? Our, 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 little, our, our little, little helper. Our little help signal. A little note on the Mile a Minute. So um, this is, a, a, any of you who have done blankets along with this probably know this already, but for anybody who's new, we know a lot of people were kind of surprised by the fact that the February stitch and the January stitch end up being slightly, they have different tensions, but the whole point of doing the join as you go is that that border and the joining process will shrink or stretch the individual strips out to match its neighbor. So if your tension is just crazy off the charts tight, you can use a slightly larger hook. If it's crazy off the charts loose, use a smaller hook. Um, but ultimately, don't worry too much about it because these strips, the, the joining process, that's the magic of crochet. It will align them up. And then once the whole blanket's put together, you can do your little bit of blocking and stuff to kind of smooth it out. So we did put some notes in. We pinned a note in the comment section under the February uh, stitch. And we'll probably pin the same note under the March stitch and so on, just so people who are kind of jumping in as we go don't feel... Like they've done something wrong. I, I spent a lot of time in the comments trying to reassure people that no, 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 this is exactly the way it's supposed to work. So if you see anybody kind of like, you know, worrying about that or fretting about it or something, feel free to just mention it to them that it's supposed to, they're, they're all, they're all going to size a little differently. But once you start putting on that border and you do that join, it's just magic. Everything just sort of like comes together. And then at the end, you can, you can block it out if it needs it. So, so don't. Nobody's doing anything wrong and trust the process. <laughs> All right, there's the bottom three and here's the top three. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join a single square between sort of this one and this one and then the other set. And then I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Oh, I still have coffee. So just so everyone knows, when, when Katie does find our video with the full title that she puts in the chat, if you just copy that, you can paste it into Google or YouTube and our video should pop, that video should pop right up. Yes. If you're interested in checking it out. And thank you, Katie. <laughs> thank you, Katie, for helping. <laughs> um, you're getting more compliments on your hair. On my hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on my Captain Janeway hair. Mm -hmm. 
I have to say, I, I'm a big fan of Captain Janeway. I like, I liked her, yes, me her, too. her character. She was great. She was. Not my favorite Star Trek captain, but but definitely up there. I really liked her. And you know what? I thought it was neat. Her hair changed over the course of the, the it film. Did. But yes. that makes sense to me because if you're lost in space and you're the, trying to get home, the last thing you're going to be worrying about is putting your I hair up. I think your day. your current style is similar to it's uh, the way it started. When, when it started yes. in the beginning yeah. of the series. Yeah. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> Danielle says, I'm loving the mile a minute. Awesome. Wonderful. Yeah, we are too. I just, I love a speedy blanket. I love a scrap eater. Um, it's, uh, we've been wanting to do a mile a minute blanket for so long. And I, we just, you know, we had real trouble sort of deciding on the stitch we wanted to do because I like so many of them. So we said, we're going to do them all. <laughs> I, love, I love the calendar blanket. I love having something to do along with everybody every month. That just, it just feels like. I don't know. It's like such a neat sort of unification. Uh, I'm already in love with this thing. This is going to be so pretty. We have a super chat. Ah. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. I'm just going to do the bell sound okay. <laughs> myself today. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I don't even know where the bell is. I think it's over there on the shelf. Is but it? I can't even see it's it. out of reach. Out of reach. Let's see here. Did I get to? I think we have two. Oh, wait a sec. Let me make sure I didn't miss one. We have one from Tori. Tori. Thank you. Yes, I got that last one. Okay, so this is from Tori. Big thank you to Tori. Tori says, I was thinking of using granny the granny ga game mm -hmm. for the strips of MAM. What Absolutely. do you think? Lots of love. Totally. You, Absolutely. You could make an entire blanket using the granny square game, but applying it to the stitch patterns. Yes, which we we were thinking of doing on, on a live stream in, it. in the near future. Yeah, just so for fun. maybe we'll do we'll all do it together. Um yeah, because because we know that it would be you can treat the mile a minute strips. Like a granny square. Yes. And basically, in terms of, of building blocks, they are. They're rectangular and strips that as would opposed turn to squares. Out like fantastic. It, it would look so pretty. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Um, we actually designed the granny square game to it, we called it the granny square game, but it's actually designed in a way that it'll work with many styles. Yeah, many repetitive stitch patterns. Yes. Yeah. Especially so, building blocks, repetitive stitch uh, patterns. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll do that. I think that'd be fun. I doing, think that would uh, be a lot doing, of fun. Uh, the the uh, mighty mile a minute. Um, so that was Tori, and now we have a super chat from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly, one of our new members, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly says, "I make slip flops, slippers flip -flop. on flip flop bottom." <laughs> have you tried this? I've seen those. That sounds fun. That sounds so neat. Yes, I've seen some of those. I love the way those look. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried any yet. Um, I actually don't have any flip flops at the moment that I could I could use the bottom of, but I have seen those. I think they look so cute. <laughs> and a big welcome to Pat for joining our channel membership. Thank you, Pat. Thank welcome. you, Pat. Welcome. Um, since we were since we were nerding out a little bit, I would yes. like to know um, if there are any Star Trek fans out there. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite captain? Yeah, yeah. Out of all the uh, series, let's, let's get full let's get, nerd let's, here. Let's go full nerd. Get our nerd on. Let's go full nerd. <laughs> Unless this turns into a giant fight, because <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 that's not. That's as far as we're going. Just my favorite captain, and that's it. No, no reasons why. <laughs> yeah, no reasons why. <laughs> okay, they're coming in. All right. So we got right off the bat the first five, six. Let me guess. Seven, let me guess. Let me guess. Picard. Eight. <laughs> Yeah, he's my favorite. You know what? I have to agree. I love him. Picard was my favorite he's, too. He's just so. I liked Picard the best. I would say Janeway was second. Number two. But close second, like just Cisco. Cisco. Awesome. I liked him too. Such a cool character. Um, yeah. But I have to say, in terms of ranking, so Next Generation, my favorite Star Trek. I mean, Kirk, Kirk was okay. And then Deep Space Nine was my was my next favorite. In fact, it's almost tied with with more Next than, Gen. More than Voyager? Oh, yeah. More than Janeway? Voyager, I like, no, I'm talking, in terms of like the shows, Voyager was like. Okay, Captain only. Captain not only. The show. Picard, Janeway, Cisco, um, Kirk, 
And then like, and then like distant way, last place, like, Archer. I don't like, like another planet, <laughs> distant Archer. Yeah, and and again, it's like his everybody's acting was fine. Just, I didn't like the way it was written, like the character arc. I didn't like that. Yeah, but, that, but that's a whole other like conversation. That's a whole other conversation. Ta- discussing like the. Uh, but in terms of like how the they, shows, how they flopped Next Generation was my absolute favorite, and I absolutely loved Deep Space. Hey, we Nine. got some Captain Kirk's. Yes. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. I mean, he was. Yeah, we got a, we got a bunch of Captain Kirk's mm-hmm. here for uh, for favorite captain. Hey, Amy says I kind of liked Archer. Yeah, I I didn't dislike him, but if I'm going to rank him, he ends up in last place, and that's just because. So the there's a, there's a couple of Archer like lovers Archer in lovers. there. And uh, full disclosure, we haven't seen any of the new Star Trek stuff. I haven't seen Picard. I haven't. Oh seen, yeah, what about um, there's all that uh, new stuff. We watched the movies. I don't even know um, what's his name again. Well, he was all right. Who, Chris Pine? Hey, Chris Pine. Playing Kirk? Yeah. Yeah, he was excellent. But technically, he was Kirk. He was Kirk. Right? So if you're gonna, I thought okay, he was pretty good. Well, if we're going to sideways step into movies, that's a whole different, like, you know, whole different nerd. You know <laughs> what? I have to say... There, it's not that we, it's not that we disliked Archer as the character because I loved um, Quantum Leap. Oh, I love, I loved yes. him in that. Yeah, no, I like I him. I feel like I feel I like, like the I feel like written. the people that pre- like pre- um, wrote like, the show. Like the yeah, they they um, I don't know. I didn't I enjoy. Just it. Feel like it kind of flopped. I didn't enjoy it. I liked her. Um, um, to but Paul, he, he was fine. The 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 the. Um, oh yeah, to I Paul. really liked yeah, her character, cool. but the rest of them, eh, yeah. I don't know. I don't, again, I think it was mostly. Rare. Oh, and I like the doctor. I always like the doctor. The, the doctor is always the, one of my yeah, favorite I liked characters. The do- oh, I love the doctor in Voyager. Yes, <laughs> he, he's my favorite. When yeah. it comes to the doctors, yes. he's my absolute favorite. I, I just, I just, what was his name again? Um, the doctor. His name. His actor's name is Robert Picardo. Picardo. Yeah. Yes, he he was the. Um, this, this the hologram. hologram. Oh my god, I loved him. I know what a character. He made me laugh all the and time. And again, great arc. This whole like concept of sort of AI becoming, you know, more like sort of self discovery. I love it. I love that stuff. Sorry, I am late. Need your help on the journal. Did not find it. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. The journal. Okay, so the new page. Okay, is. this is a great, thanks for popping in and asking, Karen. We'll take a little break to talk about it. The thumbnail, so the photograph that you see when you clicked on this live stream, so the picture of the, 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 the granny square with the sort of snapshot of the granny square poncho, that whole picture, you're looking for that photograph on the tools page of our website. Mr. and Sisters will put the link in the chat there. And then you want to click on the PDF link that's underneath that photograph. Mm-hmm. That is the printable. So you can download it to your tablet, your phone, your laptop, your computer, whatever, and you can re- view it on your e-reader, or you can go ahead and print it out. Um, and it yeah. prints out on an eight and a half by eleven. Now we have uh, just so that there isn't confusion, we have some of our project journal kits mm-hmm. for organizing and all that. Uh, we have some tutorials on that. There, some of those are in our Etsy shop. Yeah. But then, if you go to the website tools page, there's a bunch of we've got some free, free, bunch of additional free ones for that. that you can yeah. add to your journal kit. Yeah, and that's where today's is. That's is, where today's is, is. Uh, on the website tools page, and that one's free to download. Yes, and we wanted to to make it so that everybody kind of had a visual to to you know a put into your your you know helpful little library of, of goodies in mm-hmm. your product and journal kits or. To be able to just sort of see what I'm talking about clearly, because what, I, we what know we're a bit pixelated here. Title, what did we title it? I forget. Granny Square Poncho Layout. Yes. So that's that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Granny Square Poncho Layout. Yeah. All um, right. And, and then it'll say dot .pdf. Dot .pdf. Yep. Yeah. And it's the file underneath the photograph. So we got some more uh, favorite. Um, We've got some more favorite oh, ones in here. Captain Kirk, Kirk mm-hmm. uh, Serenity. Yes. Oh, canceled too soon. Yeah, we love We that show. love Firefly, <laughs> and the movie was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, J- uh, KT asks, how do you guys feel about Star Wars? Oh, boy. Here, and here we go. Well, to be fair, okay, you know. I'm an 80s kid, so I grew up with the original three movies, which are the best, in my opinion. Yeah. There's no, there's, there's no argument. There's no arguing against that for me. Um, this is this is where all the uh, the the nerd arguing starts. I I went and saw the Return of the Jedi when I was like I don't know four five six somewhere around there, and I swear I walked out of that theater with eyeballs on me like this, and I was mm-hmm. just I was Princess Leia for the next five years. <laughs> 
just like the best movie I ever saw. So I, I love yeah. those movies. The next three that they did in the late 90s, early yeah. 2000s, I didn't really like them. Yeah. I think I've seen two of the latest three, the last yeah. three set. I, I didn't just, really. Just got... It all went off a cliff for me. I Honestly, oh, I can't even get into it. <laughs> I mean, and you know what? I'm not surprised. No. I, like everyone knew once Disney bought it, it would just go, it would just become like a. Well, that's, like the, a, that's the, even the newer stuff. I, I haven't just seen it out. the super new stuff. I liked that Rogue One I movie. Heard the, I heard the Mandalorian I like, is good. Yeah, I haven't seen um, that. We don't have that Disney Plus thing. I loved the three originals as a kid, but then again, I was a kid. You were kids. So it's more, you know, impressive. Yeah. Yes. The the three that came after that, um, and like know. you said, the late nineties. I I thought they were okay. Yeah, they were okay, but um, the I, first one was terrible. Yeah, I like didn't, absolutely terrible. I feel it like was, they were kind of missing a the bit one of magic. with all. It was just all CGI. Yeah, you're just watching robots, like you know. There's a there's lasers. a there's a real art and magic to puppeteering, and when yeah. a movie uses actual puppets, like Farscape, we love the 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 the, the science fiction show Farscape, and they they joined with Henson Studios to use Muppet yeah. actual technology. So their Muppet style characters are so alive because they're yeah. being manipulated. And there's just a magic that comes along with that, that yes. you can't get with, with CGI yet. And then we gave, um, we saw some of the new ones we saw at the theater. Um, mm -hmm. we, we watched a couple of the new, new ones. I liked the Rogue theater, One. I and thought we, thought, cool. we thought, you know, just okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's because we're not <laughs> kids anymore. Or it, you know what else, though, too? Not, just not very, just not very. I'm a reader. Special. So when you've read the books, the movies almost never measure up, right? It's like, you know, you read Harry Potter yeah, and then you see the movie. Maybe. And you're like, well, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So that, that also might be a part of it. But um, yeah, the original I, three movies are my know. favorite. And, and let we us haven't know, seen let a lot us of know what stuff. you guys think in the chat. Yeah. Um, we heard The Mandalorian's really good. Yeah, we heard that's good. We love Firefly. We we watched all of that. Yeah. Uh, we're, we were sorry when it stopped. Farscape. We like Farscape. I also really like um, um, uh, Stargate. Stargate. I've oh, watched all Stargate of that. is amazing. I really enjoy that um, one. Both of them. Because the, that's the got original, MacGyver in it. <laughs> the original one and then the Atlantis one. Yes. Those are fantastic if yeah. you like uh, sci fi. I just really enjoy sci fi in uh, general. We've got some new members while hey, we were, while we're, we were nerding getting, out here. We were totally nerding out. I, I, I almost forgot we were live. It's <laughs> getting, into, getting into the whole Star Trek Star Wars thing. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's let me make sure I didn't miss anyone. Um, wow, let's see here. Did we get Pat? Yes, new member. Yes, Pat. yes, we did. Um, we got a new member. Welcome to creatively created oh, like crochet that. triple C. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining. And let's see what else we got here. Um. Another big welcome to Jenny. Jenny, welcome. Jenny, I, I believe actually is um she renewing? she is renewing. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. I believe. And then sometimes it's got, hard to tell. Oh, Jenny renewed and upgraded to silk. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Jenny. you, Jenny. <laughs> um, let me see. I want to know what everyone else thinks about, you know, the Stargate and Star Wars and the new stuff versus the old stuff and yeah, it's 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 a. I know a lot of it probably has to do of the age you were at when you saw it because because there is a certain kind of. I magic. think so. I think that makes a huge difference. Yeah, um, a lot of people agree with what we're saying about Star Wars. Um, a lot of people are saying that they you know like love Stargate, mm -hmm. uh, love Firefly. Um, some people don't care for either Star Wars or Star Trek. Yes. Um, you gotta you gotta be into that side. Yeah, you really do. You, know? you really do. Um, some people are mentioning things like the Hobbit, you know, fantasy. Um, yeah, fantasy and sci-fi often go sort of hand in hand, which which yeah. is, makes sense because you're you're dealing with they're like they're like big uh, opera. Kelly, Kelly stories. says you should read the Guardians of the Galaxy. We watched the movies. Yes, they I were, haven't read they the were books, pretty though. good. I liked the first. I liked the first one. Um, Amy loves Stargate. I love Stargate. Yeah, we really, we really enjoyed Stargate. Yes. Um, the all of them. Yeah. Both series just all, all so well it. done. Like really good stories. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, Jason Momoa. Uh, Cameron. Cameron likes Atlantis. Deep Space Nine. Star Trek. I that 
honestly, I think that's that's one of, that's your top. Yeah, that's it, in your top it, too. It ranks up there with with next gen. Yeah, that's how much I loved. I loved. I loved how how they. I, I just loved that idea of this, this just trying to keep control of a crazy spaceport where there's all sorts of like, you know, smuggling and all this illicit sort of stuff going on. I love that. Shell says, Voyager was my fave. I wonder, like, I liked... Um, then Next Gen, not so much Deep Space. You know what saved Voyager for me? Seven of Nine. Her character was absolutely fantastic. Oh, yeah, fantastic. she was awesome. I, what I a just great character. Love her. She was kind of like the data. Yeah, she was know? She was the, the, the you know, person examining their, their humanity. I liked Voyager. I liked it I more than you. I dislike it. Yeah, I liked, liked it, it I liked me. Voyager more than you did. Mm -hmm. um, the, I thought Deep Space Nine was really good. It's a lot more um, story-driven. Yeah. Like, very deep story. Uh, a lot of drama. Yes, yeah. But it's good. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but I think Next Gen is my my favorite. Watched the whole series several times and still, I still enjoy so much of it. Yeah, Next Gen's my favorite. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just love the topics they get into, yeah. how they like break things down, and it's just awesome. I love the character, like the, the, just the character development. I also, I also like that. Um, I don't know what it's like for a lot of the other. Um, series, but um, several episodes of of Next Generation were written by fans, mm -hmm. and I just think that was such a cool thing yes. to sort of take fan written, you know, scripts, and yeah. and th a lot of those were my favorite episodes. <laughs> we're going full nerd. We're, we are fully nerding out here. <laughs> I think we got a bunch of new members while we were talking uh, sci-fi. Ner nerding see. out. Um, so I mentioned Jenny. Yes, and let's see what else we got here. So our one of our new members, creative, creatively created crochet. <laughs> I love that. Um, her name is Dana. Dana, hi Dana. Um, so let's see, new member, uh, big welcome to Penny. Penny, welcome Penny. Welcome Penny. Thanks for joining. Uh, for those of you that are new, and for those of you that are unaware uh, memberships, we have a whole lot of perks that are on our community tab. Yes, on the YouTube channel homepage. So you have to go to the to our YouTube channel homepage. You have to go over to memberships. You have to be signed in. Yeah, YouTube keeps making it more. And then you can <laughs> scroll through the feed, and um, channel members will see bonus content yes. in there. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to make sure everyone is is uh, aware of that stuff. All right. All right. If I missed anyone, let me know. I have got my first row. How's that? How's that poncho coming? I've got the let first row. Let me see row. if I can steadily. I'm not very good at keeping this camera steady. There we go. I'm just, I'm just Jada's, weaving in some of my tails. Jada's working away there, joining them. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys where we're at <laughs> for row one. So, like we said, we just wanted to sit and hang out with everybody on uh, on a Friday. It's a Lunar New Year. It's uh, it's the it's the weekend for us. It's a long weekend. Not that every weekend's long these days, but we have Family Day here in um, Ontario, Canada, um, on Monday, and Sunday is Valentine's Day. So it's sort of a special weekend. Okay, here we go. We all right. Just to recap. This is row one of the granny square poncho. That is the layout. So it's a hollow square. You, you lay down nine squares, take the middle one out. That middle space becomes your neck hole. And then you sew the other eight together, literally as they're shown there. And this is what it looks like. Wow, look at that. So that's row you put one. put that together real quick. Yeah, nice nice and speedy speedy sewing. So here it is in square. <laughs> You're perfectly framed in it. It looks awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Put it down a bit. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! I love it. I love it. It's, that looks fantastic. It looks so, so there it is in the square, but now you put it on and you'll see how big this this neck hole is Aha. which is fine because i'm going to i'm going to fill it in with crochet and the pattern emerges and the pattern emerges so look how beautiful those squares came out from the granny square game so now i'm just going to stand up because because wow this is a really big hole this is great so and of course it's going to be stretchy that is just row 1 so this is how far down it goes right down to my navel here that first hole um cuz i've got to fill in the neck hole because i made those squares really big but it doesn't really matter 
Um, so that's how low it is already. And that's just row one. So now I'm going to add row two and it's going to be that much longer again, because all of these squares are the same and, um, looking good. I like it. I Look like at it. that. And of course, the more you add, the heavier it gets. And then you can sort of put around the, the middle neck part. You can put down a border. I'm definitely going to crochet around the middle. I might even do that now. This is another thing about working on a granny square poncho or any kind of granny square project. You can do you can do it in pieces and you don't actually have to follow a specific list of events in a really strict order. So for example, if I want to keep trying this on and make sure that I'm getting the, the right hang, then now is just as good a time as any to work on the neck part. So I'm actually going to do that so I can show you kind of how it looks in case you need to run off or something. I'm going to grab some yarn. This is some of the yarn that I've been using on these squares. I'll find my, my middle piece. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to join my yarn um, in, in a corner. So just so you know what I'm talking about, if I hold this up, You've got four corners, right? This is the, the oh, you're, we're focusing on the negative space here, this open hole. You've got four corners, it's, a, it's an invisible square. And across the four corners, we wanna work some decreases. But because the corners are actually like, this is the front, maybe this one's the back, this is a shoulder and this is a shoulder, because really, we're holding it like a diamond. Um, I like to sort of pick which side I want to be the back. And then I start most of my crochet there, so I think. I like that a little more. So this will be the back. So yarn on hook, that's a slip knot. I'm just going to slip my hook into the corner space of that, that corner. This is the corner space of the little corner that borders that hole. I'm just going to join with a slip knot. You can join it anywhere, but I like to start in a corner. If the, uh, for those of you that want to follow along, we have the little sheet. Yeah. Um, and I'm then posting it in the chat here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to start in the corner. I changed my mind. We have a super chat. All right. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> let me make sure I didn't miss it. Here we go. So this is a super chat from Heather. Hi, Heather. Big thank thank you. you to Heather. Heather says, on your temperature pl blanket, yes. did you slip stitch the white single crochet rows to the side of the granny square or connect them? Even simpler. So um, you're talking about the last row. So we did a, a, a temperature blanket. There were 366 squares in it because it was a leap year. And I did rows of 14 squares, which left me with two at the bottom. So I joined those two just like I normally would. And then in order to make the fill in that sort of the rest of that row, I joined my yarn. So I flipped the blanket upside down so that I was, you know, working across the bottom. So here's my, my two little squares are sort of sitting here along the, this is the rest of the row. I joined my yarn here. I single crocheted in every single stitch and space all the way across, chained one, and worked all the way back, single crochet. And I just kept going and going and going, making a single crochet piece of fabric. And as soon as it was about the same height as the square next to me, fastened off, left the long tail, and then sewed that edge. That's all I did. So I single crocheted that strip directly onto the blanket, and then I just sewed up the little edge between the, the square and the thing. And that, that's all I did, so nothing fancy. And it works just fine. Um, I hope that answers the question. <laughs> I get carried away talking about it. Okay, because I'm closing in this neck piece, if you were just going to add a few rows of single crochet, then join in the corner, join anywhere you want. Um, I was going to join in the corner, but I realized I want to actually close my corners in. So I'm going to join my yarn. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do, if I'm going to continue that shell stitch around the middle. I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm designing as I go here. Decisions, decisions. We have a few birthdays coming up tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy everybody. birthday. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to Flip a coin. I am going spin to the wheel. I'm going Should to we spin the granny square spin the wheel? Granny square. 
I'm actually just going to zip out and look at another one for a second. I'll be right back. Everybody. All right. Everyone can get a glimpse of our uh, our backstage there, our set. We've got the little star, the little moon for the Lunar New Year. That's the big moon pillow. I think we have... And the star pillow. Yes. Got to get the help si signal going here. <laughs> Drink your water, everyone. Yes, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Don't forget to take your vitamin C and um, eat your fruits and vegetables. And vitamin D if you're not getting enough. Vitamin D is important, but you don't want to take too much vitamin D. So just uh, just there. Dizzy says, coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, I guess that could be a bit a bit of a vitamin. It's a vitamin for, for me, that's for sure. Hello to Penny. Greetings. Greetings from Idaho, ID. Is ID Indiana? Let me know if that's Indiana. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. Welcome to the community. Thanks for joining. And a big welcome to Jilly. Um, actually, a big thank you for upgrading your membership. Appreciate that. Let me make sure that I didn't miss anyone here. I don't think so. Jada has gone off to look for something. She'll be back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Decide what stitch I I'm want doing to do public service announcements. <laughs> oh, really? Little little crochet PSAs? Okay. I've decided I'm going to continue the granny shell stitch all the way around the center of my neck and I'm going to decrease at the corners. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So rather than starting the corner, so again, I'm going to pick this up. So this is going to be the back corner. I've got four corners here. I'm going to start in the space um, between shells, one shell away from the corner. So again, doesn't matter what corner you start in or what what where you want to start. I'm going to join my yarn with a slip stitch in a space between shells along the side, one shell away from where the corner happens. And I'm just going to start a regular old mm -hmm. granny shell stitch. So chain three to begin. That counts as a double crochet. Two more double crochets into the space. And when I was working these sort of granny squares, I was putting one stitch, one chain in between three sets of three double crochets. So I'm gonna to continue to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna work all the way across this one side and then I'll show you what happens when I get to the corner. <laughs> I was doing more public service announcements to make sure that everyone stayed healthy. Yes, we want everyone to Eat stay your healthy. fruits and vegetables. Fruits and veggies, you know, what your and, mom told you. Uh, take your vitamin C and vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially vitamin D. Yeah. We're not however, getting a lot of sun right now. However, I read that Vitamin D, um, you can take too much, so you have to, you know, follow the instructions mm -hmm. on the, the package. Yeah, or whatever your doctor tells you to whatever do. Whatever your doctor tells you. Yeah. All right. So I've worked a three double crochet shell into each. I'm going to pull up my loop here. So you can see that I'm working across the side of this square. This wants to curl up a little bit, so I hope that is... Hope that is visible. Mm -hmm. is yeah, visible? I can see that. Okay. For sure. So there's the shells worked across the side, and then that brings me up to a corner. So there's it goes shell, and then the chain two corners sort of meet each other. I'm just going to this is big and floppy, so bear with me here. I should get my pointer out. So here's a shell, and here's a shell, and then there's a chain two corner space here, and a chain two corner space here. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Hang on, I got it. I got it. 
Where my three fingers are, are the three chain two corner spaces that all meet at the corner. So I'm looking at an inside corner right here. I want to decrease. So I'm skipping this chain two corner, this chain two corner, and this chain two corner, and I'm skipping over to this one here. And as soon as I, so I, I finished my last shell, I do not work one into the corner space, the corner space, or the corner space of those three squares that all meet each other in the corner. Instead, I just chain one like I normally would, and I jump all the way across to the space between the next two shells along the flat side of the next square. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm changing my mind again already. I don't like it. <laughs> I wonder if I, I think I'm just gonna put maybe one double crochet in there. This is this is the whole like. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work a double three crochet double double crochet three stitches together, cluster into the center. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want there to be a big space there. So I've worked three double crochet shell, chained one. I am gonna use that corner space of that square. Again, I'm going to try and show you this. So we've got, let me get my three fingers in here. <laughs> There's the three corner spaces of those three squares that all connect to each other. So I'm going to skip this one, and I'm going to skip this one, and I'm going to use the middle one, and I'm going to work three double crochet together so that I don't have a big gap there. And three double crochets, you basically start a double crochet stitch, work the first half, Start another double crochet stitch, work the first half, start a third double crochet stitch, start and work the first half, and then double crochet through, or I should say, <laughs> yarn over and pull back through everything. And then I'm going to skip over and do my next shell. And I'm going to see if that works and you're if having, I like it. You're having a Gemini moment. I am. So this, is, this is how I design on the go. Sometimes, you know, you have to kind of change things up. Oh, we I like ha that. We have a few people in the chat that are asking, what is the granny square game? All right. How does that look? It looks like yarn that's been knotted together. I think I think I like that. That looks fine. And what I'm basically doing is Let's I'm see hold it up again. I'm gonna hold it up the way you're gonna see it mm -hmm. down across the back. So this is the back? Yeah, this is the back. So I'm filling in the neck hole so that when I try this thing on, it doesn't flop off my shoulders and I can get a better idea of, of how I want to go further. This mm -hmm. is the whole process of granny square poncho building. That looks good. So that middle piece, that is a three double crochet together to fill in that space. And that's worked into that corner, that corner space. And then I skipped the other ones. And I think I, I think I like that. It just kind of fills in the gap. Mm -hmm. That's all we're doing here. And of course, it's going to close in the neck hole. Let me get a couple more shells in and we'll see what it looks like. We have we have a, a, a handful of um, people in the chat that miss the granny square game, and we have a handful of people that Don't know what are curious <laughs> what it is. Maybe we should maybe we should um, spend a few minutes and show show them. Sure. Well, um, what do you say, Missy, Miss Crochet? Uh, you mean actually play around? Mm -hmm. I guess we can do that. Let me finish this row first. And we'll talk about the game a little bit. I mean, this is a marathon. I know it's a stream, marathon. Right? We're gonna kind of just do a little bit of everything. <laughs> this is this is us hanging out on a Friday of the uh, the Lunar New Year party. <laughs> I will be right back. I want everyone behaving in the chat, please. <laughs> everyone behave. <laughs> Uh, the Granny Square game, for those of you who have, didn't get a chance to watch us play, we have several um, live stream episodes that we have archived on the channel. Basically, we uh, created a game in which we randomize the use of yarns. So you pre-select some yarns that you want to use, um, whatever, if you like colors or you're just trying to use up some scraps, and you, you want to have at least six of them. So one ball of yarn, doesn't matter if they're all the same color or different colors or scraps, whatever. I had a whole bunch of different ones that I kind of like how they look together. And you have six of them, one for each side of a standard six sided die. Um, and then you, you have a timer. You want to time your rounds. 
Um, if you're a fast crocheter like me, we use like two, two and a half minute rounds on the timer. If you're a really slow crocheter because you're just kind of getting used to it, or maybe you just kind of want to chill, then you can make the rounds a little longer, three, four, five minutes, whatever you want. You roll the die, whatever that number comes up with, that's the number ball of yarn that you start with and you start crocheting a granny square and you set the timer and then you crochet with that color until the timer goes off. Then when the timer goes off, you roll the die and you either change. So if the, if the number comes up as a different number, then you go to that number. And we use these little things. So we had some little uh, signs made up so that I knew which ball of yarn was which, one through six. Of course, you could also just have them in order. You can also purchase it in our Etsy shop. We have the entire game for sale in our Etsy shop. Um, it's available for download, and it also includes a granny square pattern in it. Um, and then you, so you roll, if the number's different, you snip your yarn, you tie in the new color, and you, then you set, reset the timer and you continue. There's also an added level of chaos. We have a fun little spinner. So if we're playing live um, with everybody here in a live stream, if somebody super chats or super stickers or um, memberships or something like that joins, um, we would activate the wheel of chaos. That creates a, so you pause the timer, you spin the spinner and there's six different kind of crazy kind of slightly chaotic things that can happen to you to interrupt the flow of your granny square. So the color might change. You might have to grab um, a different color from a bag of scraps. You might have to stop that square altogether and start another one or stop that one and go back to a previous one. There's all these kind of different little <laughs> goofy things that can happen. And then the you go back, you set reset the timer, and then you continue crocheting until mm -hmm. you either the timer goes off and you roll the die again, or there's some other reason to activate <laughs> the wheel of chaos. So it's it's pretty bouncy, it's really quick, um, and it's a fun way to make really pretty granny squares because what ends up happening is that you just have this random occurrence of color uh, running through all these different granny squares. And that's why these squares that I'm, I'm uh, using are kind of randomized because we made them playing the game. <laughs> I'm getting uh, I'm getting trolled here in the chat. <laughs> I didn't say knitted together. I said knotted together. What are we talking about? Um, we're talking about earlier when you were showing what you did there. Oh, all along the inside of the. Yes, knotted. That is what I said. And maybe it sounded like knitted. Knotted together. I'm still not. This even is sure this following. is going back now. We're going back. I'm jumping over to here. Um, yeah, fun. so we have, for those of you that are curious about the Grammy Square game, we have um, a whole bunch of live streams we did with everyone yep. last year. The first one. And they're all in a, a playlist. Whole, yeah, there's a playlist. And the first one, we explain the detail. We explain the, everything in detail. And um, <laughs> and like we said, we've got a, we actually wrote up a copy. It's actually, a I copy. think we also have it in our, we, ha we have it in our Teespring shop now too. So yeah. it should be just below this video. Yeah, you might not on be able to shelf. see it, but it depends on the device you're using. But the the shelf there, if you I think if you click on that shelf, it just takes you directly to the Teespring shop. And yes, we have it up mm -hmm. in the Teespring shop too. So that yep. is true. So let me make sure I didn't miss any super chats or memberships. I'm gonna scroll back a bit. I believe I mentioned Jilly for upgrading. And Heather, yes. We're all caught up. Awesome. Okay. I'm also nearing the end of my first inside <laughs> row for my neck. Friendly Crochet Creation says, I miss them all. They sound fun. They are fun. They are. They're really They are goofy. a super blast. But the great news is, is that they're still up on our YouTube yeah. channel and you can watch them anytime. Yes. You can pick up that playlist, play from the first know. episode all the way to the end. Yeah. Start with the first. And you can, you can continue playing by rewatching them. Um, so what, if you're playing along with us, you can follow all the same rules and try to keep up with like sort oh. of the angle that I'm doing no, it. That's the or, or you can alter the rules depending on on the project you're working on, and we explain all that as we go too. Um, but yeah, you can. It's it's kind of fun because it kind of creates as you work each row, you speed up, you slow down. You know, maybe you have trouble kind of nodding in your yarn or something. There's all these little things will come along that will make how your squares turn out different every single time, which is really, yeah. really cool. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna link the um, our YouTube channel, and then you're gonna want to go to the playlist section which is um the menu across the top click on playlists and then go to the granny yeah. square game and that's where all the live streams are 
So I've cur I've I like that. I like it. Okay, I'll explain what I've done. I've worked a row of the shell stitch around the inside edge of my neck. I'm gonna try it on. If I still feel it's too big, I'll add another row of crochet. It might be the same thing, might not. It doesn't matter. This is how you sort of play as you go. No rules, there's no rules here. Um, what I did in the corners is when I got up to a corner, so as I was working across the, the regular side of a granny square, so here's the regular side of a granny square, in between the, the, the chain one spaces along each side, they got a regular old shell, three double crochet and then chain one, three double crochet, chain one, all the way across. When I got to the corner, <clears throat> I had three corners, so three squares meet in each corner. So after I finished the last shell, I would skip the next shell from the previous row and that chain two corner. And then I would work three double crochets together into the corner of the middle square. So that's start a double crochet, work the first half, start another double crochet, work the first half, start a third double crochet, work the first half. You have like four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull back through everything. So it's like a, not a bobble, it's just three double crochet work together. So it kind of fills in that space, but it also doesn't mm -hmm. create this, it creates this shape. And then I skipped over the next corner space and the next shell of the, of the other square that kind of butted into that corner and continued with the regular shell stitch. So I hope that that, is easy and easy enough to see, explain. I'm gonna try it on. And that whole space is still really big. So I'm gonna put in another, I'm gonna put in another row of crochet, but it is closing in. So I don't want it to go too, too much. It's another thing, when you're designing ponchos, um, you wanna make notes as you go. So for example, this is the first one you've ever made and you're fiddling around with yarn size and crochet sort of granny square size. Make notes on the back of your poncho um, sheet that we've got here, because if you want to make another one, like if you finally go, okay, I really like the way that neck turned out, or I really like the way I did that edging across the bottom, or I really liked this yarn, or I whatever your notes might be, keep track of that information on the back of your sheet, because then if you go to make another poncho down the road, a lot of the thinking has already been taken out for, for you. So. There's this layout and sizing has all the basic information you need in order to get started making your own granny square poncho. But of course, as you go, you may need to fill in the neck hole. You might not. Maybe you want to do something a little extra special. Maybe you want to do a drawstring. It's entirely up to you. Um, but whatever you find you end up liking, it's really good to make notes about that as you go. Because mm -hmm. when you go to make another one, it could be a year later. It could be 10 years later. Time flies. Um, it's really helpful to be able to bring out that information. So to go through your project binder. I always have mine nearby. So this is my current project binder that I've been steadily putting stuff into. Um, and then you just sort of like flip to that particular section in your project binder and you go, I made one of those ones. Mm -hmm. I like to have photographs of the project I made. I like to have all that kind of nearby. So here's a question from Cameron. Could cool. I use the granny square poncho chart to put together granny squares for an Afghan? Um, well, I mean, if you fill the hole, yeah, the you don't, hole. you don't want a neck hole. You don't want yeah, a hole in the middle. Absolutely. But um, yeah, there's, there's a, uh, I mean, the, this, yeah. <laughs> this is a specific <laughs> the specific pattern for the poncho. This is how you lay, but, lay out your squares for a poncho. But yeah. yes, you could, I mean, if you wanted to make a perfectly square blanket, then yeah, it's the absolutely. same kind of concept. Yeah. It's just that obviously you don't have a hole in the middle. <laughs> I'm just weaving in a little tail here. Is that what you're up to? Yeah. I know. It looks funny. Okay. For those of you that want to know how to make the granny square, um, because we're getting some questions, mm -hmm. we have... Uh, a tutorial on our YouTube channel, uh, The Granny Square for Beginners. And we also have the written pattern in our Etsy shop if you prefer the written pattern. Yes, um, and that's if you just want to use the classic, so the thumbnail has this particular yes. square on it. That's for the classic Granny Square. This is a beginner tutorial, so we go nice and slow in it. Um, but like I said earlier, you can use any Granny Square you like. So if you wanted to use our heart at the center granny square, this sweet little thing here, um, and make a poncho using that, <laughs> you could. Um, if you wanted to use our 
daisy centered granny square or a sunflower centered granny square or any of our fancy granny squares that that, that those are much bigger so you don't really need to use four of those <laughs> but uh yeah you can use any square of shape you want uh which is another reason this is a fun kind of you, you'll never get the same poncho twice really all right i'm going to work another row um i think i'm going to do a slightly more solid stitch so i'm going to work a row of half double crochet all the way around this neck edge and I'm going to work a, a half double crochet into every single stitch and space except across the corners I'm going to um, I'm going to work three half double crochet stitches together and I'll show you what that looks like when I get there but I'm just going to start um, because I joined my row in the top of the chain three that I began with I start there so I chain I'm using a half double crochet stitch so I just chain her one half double crochet in the same place. And now I'm just half double crocheting in the top of each stitch and into each chain one space all the way along the sides. And then when I get to uh, an inverted corner, I'm going to half double crochet three stitches <clears throat> together across the corner. And I'll show you that in a second here. Thank you, Cameron. He found it. Beginner oh, Granny Square, May 8th, 2014. Is it that long ago? Oh my goodness. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my goodness. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. That, that's the beginner. Yes. We, have, we have actually lots of Granny Square videos, but that's the the right. classic. Help me out here, Mr. Stitches. I want to make sure this is very clear mm -hmm. for everybody to see. Yeah, so, I can see it pretty good. I'm in a corner. So this is where like the two corners meet. So I've got my space and I've got a space and then I've got that three double crochet together stitch in the middle. So this is what I'm going to do. Show, show, pull it up again and show the corner. So... I'm working upside down, but yeah, that's the corner. Yeah, there you, there it is. Okay, so know. that's where you're working so right that, now in yeah, that corner. That's the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just half double crocheting three stitches together. So I'm going to start a half double crochet stitch in this big space here, and by that I mean I'm just sort of picking up a stitch in it. I want to grab, a, pick up a stitch in the top of this three double crochet together. So I'm not going to yarn over. Actually, I don't want this to be too chubby. I'm just going to slip my hook in pick up a loop and then I want to pick up a loop in that other space. So this is, this is how you half double crochet and then you're an over pull back through everything. There's like five, four or five loops. You just basically, you're doing this. You keep kind of, you're going to keep that nice 90 degree space together because you're pulling the corners in. I'm going to crochet away from it a little bit and then I'll show you what it looks like because it'll be easier to see. And then I'm back to regular half double crochet in every single stitch and space all the way across the, the flat sides of the square. This is, you can make these kinds of ponchos as complicated or as simple as you want. So it can be just as simple as stitching or sewing together the squares in the right layout, according to the little charts we have on our sheet there. <clears throat> Um, and then, you know, like Shell was, I think it was Shell was saying earlier, can you just run a, like a, a, a drawstring through it? Absolutely. You could just do a drawstring yeah. closure neck because you don't want to fuss with the neck hole. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to continue to add a whole lot of extra crochet and make a big cowl, you just keep, you don't do any decreasing or increasing. You just keep single crochet, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, whatever stitch you want. You just keep doing it all the way around and around and around and around and around. So many rows until you have a big, big, tall kind of cowl. So when you put your, your poncho on, you have this big cowl neck that you can like fold down like a big loose turtleneck. That looks really cool. I've made them with that. Um, you can add a, add a hood. Uh, you just need two oversized granny squares, basically. Um, in fact, I was thinking I might do that. I might add a hood to this. Um, so I'm working across this corner. Someone was asking about a hood earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Really easy to add a hood to these things. Super easy. You just want to make a nice big, two really big granny squares. Uh, in fact, we could do that. I've got, I've got a square that needs to be made bigger if I'm going to use it for a hood. And then I would have to make another one, in which case we could play a couple rounds of the Granny Square game until I had a couple of. I think we should, if going. you're up to it. I'm up to it. Maybe just just one or two rounds. Nothing nothing too crazy. I need to. If I'm going to add a poncho, if I'm going to add a hood to this, then we better make some squares. I need a full secondary square. And Let, let's to... ask. Let's ask the chat. 
would you like us to play a couple rounds of the Granny Square game? Yeah, do you want to see today? That? I don't know. It's everybody's. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what mood. the vote that comes in. So <laughs> you have a mood. you have a black and white answer: yes, no, <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> Getting two yeses. Okay. Oh heck yeah! Says Tori. <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, yes. Come on, there's got to be at least one no in there. Or no thanks. Yes, yes. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so, silly question. <laughs> thanks, guys. That's <laughs> awesome. Yes, please. Okay, so all far right. it's all yeses. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off this. Go for it. Fun to watch. Bro, and <laughs> let's see where we're at. Thanks, guys. So, yes, everyone would love to see a couple of rounds of the Granny Square game. Okay. Well, in that case. Oh, and I want to get back to Cameron, and Shell had mentioned this in the chat. Mm -hmm. In regards to blankets, uh, don't we have a video that goes over four or five different ways to join Granny Squares together for a blanket? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure we do. So. We need Katie. We've What's got the title, Katie? Katie. There's, uh, I need the Katie. The Katie. Oh, yeah, I just slapped it in there. We've got um, in the <laughs> description box of this beginner granny square mm -hmm. pattern, and in the description you know box what? of I several might, of our I granny square pattern tutorials, tutorial up here. we have a link to our first ever how to join your granny squares. So oh um, we do three different methods for joining. So if you want to figure out three very simple methods for joining your squares together, we go through it there. Then we have a join as you go yes, mini granny square. I found them. You got them all? Yes, so let's start with the join as you go. Um, we have, when we do the super large blanket squares, uh, we did the fancy granny squares back in 2017. We have a tutorial on how to join those squares, and I just used the whip stitch, but because they're larger squares, it's kind of a nice video to look at because I'm joining together these larger squares. Um, joining is not complicated, so you can make it complicated or you can make it super simple. Um, basically you want to just... We have basic borders. You want to have... decide if you want your joining method to be part of the overall design, like you really want it to stand out, like a ridged single crochet join, which creates a really cool ridge. If you used a different color, it would really stand out. It would add framing to all your squares. Or do you want it to be so subtle that you don't even realize that the squares are actually joined? In which case, if all of your squares have the same border color, that simple little whip stitch sewing method using the same mm -hmm. color disappears completely into the I, stitches. I'm flooding, I'm flooding the chat with uh, links to these videos for granny squares and blankets and things. So you can, you can click really on tiny. one, it should be in another window, and then you can just pause the video and then go back later and watch it. Okay, so here's here's the edge now of the neck. I did a decreasing row of the shell stitch, and then I did a row of half double crochet in every stitch and space all the way around. <clears throat> and I worked three half double crochets. Don't you look adorable in that little window? Across hello? the insides of the corners. Do you see? Knock, knock, knock. Yes, hello. <laughs> Is anybody home? But you see how that's closed itself in? So now I'm going to try it on. So I'm getting somewhere. Looking good. That I like. Okay. That's as closed in as I'm going to make it because I'm going to add a, a poncho uh, hood. A hood. So in that case, that was just two rows of, of crochet and that really filled in quite a big space. Um, so let me just fasten off. Now, do the hood squares have to be bigger or are they going to be the same size? No, they need to be bigger. Okay, that um, makes sense. So I'll just fasten that off and I'll probably sew over top of that later. So there's, there we go. So now... Now I've got like a kind of a neat red edging. <laughs> that looks kind of neat. Okay. I'm going to put this out of the way. Hoods. I'm going to just randomly grab. This is a pretty one. What was that fluffy one? Maybe I'll use this one. Yeah, I'll use this one. All right, I have 24 squares here because, as explained in our layout and joining, figuring out how many squares you need is based on how many rows of actual granny squares you want to add. So if you're using the basic eight to start, 
every row grows by a factor of eight. So the way to think of it is this. Row one <laughs> times eight is eight. Row two, two times eight is 16. Row three, three times eight is 24. So that's how many squares you would need in each of those rows. But in order to make the entire poncho, you have to add all of those row totals together. <laughs> and we explain it here in the sheet. So basically, if you have eight in your first row and you have 16 in your second row, 16 plus eight is 24. So I need at least 24 squares to make a two row granny square poncho. So I have 24 squares, but I had an extra one because we were really zipping along when we were playing that game. And this is going to be the base of one of my panel halves for my hood. And then I'm going to make a second one equally large. So how do you decide how big a square is that you need for your hood? Well, a hood is essentially two squares pieced together across the top. So you would sew it across the top and the side, so in an L shape. And when you do that, it leaves this kind of open hood-like effect. It'll be easier to see when I actually do it. But you want the side of your hood to be pretty large. And the larger you make your square, the the more, like it doesn't, when you're sewing it around the neck, it doesn't matter. You can, you can bunch it up in places if you have to, but the bigger your square, the bigger the side of your hood and the bigger than the taller it is. So I, you know, you want to have at least a 12 inch square, maybe even 13 or 14 inches. So the bigger seat, look at this, this isn't that big. This wouldn't cover my head. It has to like join at the mm -hmm, top. That's right. So this nine inch square isn't big enough. So I have to keep adding rows to make it larger. So I need to go to at least 12 inches, Okay. maybe even 16 Someone inches. Someone was asking how big roughly. Yeah. So about 12. And it's, to... it's just, you can just look in the mirror. You can be like, okay, well, if I join this at the top, how it doesn't even do get to here. So do you so need to go down to your chin maybe? Or 12, no, all the way down to 12 by 12 to start. That's just to start. Yeah. The bigger you, you go, up. the deeper it gets, the more like, you know, like floof you get. It's like mm -hmm. the bigger, the better. <laughs> Once again. Yes. The bigger, the better. So, all right. Let's completely change gears then. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? I... We need Shell's help today because I don't have my timer with oh me. Oh my gosh. So Shell, you're gonna be our timer. Can Shell Shell, can you do Oh yeah, timing? Shell, Shell's already teasing me. Okay. She said I better limber up. All right. I'm well, all right, so here we go. Crack my knuckles and get ready here. I'm gonna grab, so I just <laughs> I have of course all my yarn here from the game. I'm gonna pull out six balls of yarn that are all different. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So Shruti says nine inch square for poncho, 12 inch square for hood, right? Yeah, 12 inch or bigger Roughly. for your hood. Yeah, um, a I'm, minimum. I'm going to go, I'm going to start with a 12 inch minimum. I might go up to 13 or 14 inches. Friendly Crochet asks, are there going to be two squares? You need two squares for the hood. For the hood. Just two. And, they need and to they're be big. seamed across the top and then they're seamed down the back. And then the other two sides are open because that long... Edge is what you sew around the neck of your poncho. It's uh, it it always it's when I first made a hood, I was like, what? what? And then when I saw it later, I was yeah, like, oh, it, it makes so much sense. Yeah. Okay. Quick, quick, quick refresher. Okay. I have a bag of scrap yarn. This has to do with the wheel of chaos. If uh -huh. the wheel of chaos is activated, there is a possibility that I may have to use scrap yarn. So I have scrap yarn in here. I will put that to the side. I have six main balls of yarn. I'm actually going to lay them all out on the table in front of me because why not? And I don't care what order they're in. And I'm going to number them. So this is ball number one. There's my three, my two. You're going to put them right there? I'm going to put them right here. Excellent. So I can move even, move even faster. Okay. These aren't even really nicely spun, so. That's okay. It's we're four. kind of makeshifting the game today. We're, we're, we're just kind of slapping it together speed, today. Speed, a couple speed rounds. This is the speed version. So I Lightning have round. six bowls of yarn. <laughs> so when we roll the dice, um, whatever number comes up, that's the number I would start with. I have one existing square that I need to make bigger, and I need to make a second square completely because the rest of my squares are already accounted for. They're all <laughs> going to be row number two of my granny square poncho. Oh, I already love how this is. You know what? I'm going to put this on. Shell's doing the timer for us. Thank you, Are Shell. we going to do two minutes or three minutes? Um, 
two minutes. Two, two minutes. minutes show. I think Jada's I'm, feeling, I'm uh, feeling as peppy today. Fast as I can today. Yeah. She's feeling saucy. This is. It's looking good. All look how great that looks. <laughs> Okay, I'm really aging myself, and to my credit, I only watched the rerun, but does anybody remember Carol Burnett and that Gone with the Wind scene when she comes out with the the curtains on? <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. She's wearing the curtains with the rock. Google it on YouTube if you haven't seen that skit, because that's one of the... <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking, anyway. Silliness, complete silliness. Okay, so I have my hook. I'm going to crochet with the same hook that I'm using. I've got my... Monique says, my yes! She remembers! <laughs> I got the, the skits ever. got the camera set up here. Okay. So let's turn this guy on. Oh, we, we, we're, we're multi, multi camera. Yeah, we're really going for it today. Well, we need to show the board, right? We got to show the board. Yeah, so we have an entire board. Bing! We've got a uh, spinner. We've got a place to roll the die. All right, we've got the six colors lined up. So these are my six main balls of yarn. We're going to roll to start. And that will determine which color I start with. Now, it's up to me, because I already have an existing square that I'm working on, if I want to start with this or if I want to start one from scratch. And I think I'm going to start one from scratch because I need to make two, ultimately. I have a bag of scraps in case we spin the wheel and I need to do that. <laughs> and I think that's all I need. And we'll just explain it as we go. So, quick recap. If anybody super chats, live, oh, you know what? super can you stickers. Guys, can you guys let us know if... Um, you can see it? The can't like the numbers and the word there in the in the background is is the correct way because on my end it looks flipped everything looks flipped in reverse. So can you read the numbers correctly and can like the the subscribe pillow in the back is that reading correctly or is it in reverse? I can't tell. Looks good, says Ashley. Great. Okay, so it is going through correctly. Okay, good. I'm just gonna get my and we got the board here. Can you see the board in the corner? Can you see the spinner and the die? Oh man, look at that. It's a bad start. I missed the whole board. All right. <laughs> For speed, I like to have my tools Numbers in front of me. to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all numbered. Can you cram them a little more like, um, well, you don't, I guess you don't really need to see them all. You don't really need to see them. Yeah. They're, they're there. One to six. I have my workspace. This is the this is my alternate square. So if I get told I have to go back to an alternate square, this is it because okay. I need to so make them larger. Okay, so it looks like the word and the numbers are being read correctly. Awesome. Okay, So great. we are not flipped on that end. Good. If someone super chats, super stickers, joins, upgrades, that activates the Wheel of Chaos, in which case all play comes to a dead halt and we spin and I have to do whatever the spinner says. Yes, and if we don't and get if there's a nothing, super chat. It's all reliant on the on the timer, which Shell is looking after for Shell's us. Shell's looking after for Thank us. Thank you, Shell. Shell do a better job than I, than I will, <laughs> I'm sure. And every time the, the, the timer goes off, Shell will let us know in the chat, I will be told to stop and then we roll the die again. So. And hopefully you listen. And hopefully I listen. To when you're told to, to stop. So I'm going to start a granny square from scratch. I am using the classic granny square pattern. It will look like this one. And I'm going to make both these squares <laughs> until they are at least 12 inches, maybe even bigger. I'm going to crochet as fast as I can. So let's see how, how good I am today. I think I'm pretty warmed up with all the sewing. You don't see the board? You can't see the board in the bottom of the screen? Let me know if you can see the board. I'm spinning the wheel right now. It's a, It should be on your bottom right. We got a super chat from Diane. So Diane's already started. Diane has already started trying to trying to throw you off. Okay, well, um, let's include that. So, do you want to? Well, we start with a roll. We have and to then roll, we'll spin and then Diane. we'll spin for Diane. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. This is so fun. I'm making baskets correctly, <laughs> says Diane. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, I can see it, but it's small to read. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll let you know what we, we spin we'll on. We'll spin, the, yeah. The pink is spin again. This is nice and cozy. The red is start a new granny. The green is blind scrap grab. Purple is color position switch up. Mm -hmm. Orange is re previous granny. Mm -hmm. Blue is finish the row. 
and then we're back around. And because I want to make two I complete grannies. I guess I could grannies, zoom in a little bit. Can you zoom in a little? Yeah. Because I want to make two complete granny squares, if we roll, if we spin and it says start a new granny, I will only be returning to a previous granny. So I will be making that small amendment today so that I can make my two big granny squares. Uh, and as soon as you're ready, Mr. and Stitches, you can roll the die. Shell will start the timer as soon as you've figured out what number we're starting. And then I will, I will speed into my first square. Okay. Is everyone ready? Are we ready? <laughs> we'll swig of water here. If you're going to play along, we'll wait a few seconds if, that, if you want to set up. Mm -hmm. You know, lots of people like playing along with us. Yes. Or you can <clears throat> watch me try to... I'm or you can watch... G we can, laser focus. You can focus. watch uh, everyone try and trip Jade I'm going to see how bit. fast I can crochet this. I want to get these two squares made so I have my nice big hood. Poncho's looking great. <clears throat> this is... This is... Okay. Real art. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Starting with the first roll. Okay. Hopefully I don't miss the table this time. <laughs> we Almost. got a one. A one. Hey, start right at the beginning. So this is my number one yarn. So I pull my little thing out and I'm starting a granny square from scratch. So uh, I've been chaining. So I start with a, a, a <laughs> slip knot. I chain five or six. I don't want my, my center holes to be too big. And then I start. So chain three counts as double crochet. And then I start my shells. Three, sh three double crochet equals one shell. So if you're familiar with um, the granny square layout, I go two chains for every corner space and one chain in between shells once the rows get larger. But row one is just two chains in between each mm -hmm. set of shells. And shells you... running. Speaking of shells, shell is running the uh, timer for us. Speaking of shell, shell, did you get the timer going? If, if you're seeing the board a bit fuzzy or something like that, it's because of our internet speed. Yeah. We do Don't not, worry, it's not you, it's us. We do not have fast internet, so you're going to see it a little bit blurry, a little bit pixelated. Um, maybe what I'll do is just, I won't zoom in that much. Just a little less. Okay. Okay, so let's spin for Diane. So you want to spin for Diane. Yeah. So Diane so gave us a super chat. Stop. So I'm going to stop. So Stop, please. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Once I get going. Follow the rules, Missy. <laughs> there are rules, you know. So we're spinning for Diane. And we get spin again. Spin again. So, so you go ahead and spin. I'm going to get a few more stitches. Jada gets to continue. And Miss Shell is going to start the timer again. And you're going to spin the wheel again. Well, I'm While I'm rounding getting the corner on my in. second row. What do we get? What do we get? Return to a previous okay. granny. Okay. So are you just so going to flip between the two? I'm going to flip between the okay. two. So that here's what good. we do. So return to previous granny. I pull up on my yarn so that my loop doesn't undo itself. Looks like we have squirrels. That's probably because we're running the two the cameras. The two cameras, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. It's, it's, it, you're not missing a whole lot. It'll catch up with itself. <laughs> Put that one aside. <laughs> you're not missing a whole lot. <laughs> Continue with the same color. And then join, I'm joining in uh, in the corner, and I'm going to continue working on this granny square. So I'm going to, I like to join yarn in a corner, and off I go. We got a wheel activation do, from do, Tori. Do, do. Tori, thank you. Tori says, and here we go, <laughs> tripping up time. Wee. <laughs> yes, let's try and trip Jada up today. Let's see what happens. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's working. It's working. It's we got heavy. another trip up. Wheel activation from Tamika. Thank you, Tamika. Pool noodles. <laughs> That's Tamika a says somewhere. pool noodle. So I'll break. I'll break out the pool noodle if uh, Jada doesn't obey the rules. Okay. So. So you're supposed to stop. Okay. So I'm gonna stop. Otherwise, the pool noodle comes out, and it's it's you know. You're gonna get a wall. Speed, speed, speed! Let's go! I want to make right. these. So I'm Quick spinning for Tori. <laughs> Tori Thank gets you, Tori. a blind scrap grab. Ooh, blind scrap grab. Okay. So. Here's my bag of scraps. I reach into it without looking. Pull out a, oh, perfect. Ooh. Then snip the yarn that I currently have. And I'm going to put this back. Since this is a um, an official color ball of yarn, it's a complete disaster now. <laughs> it goes back in its place. Its little marker goes into it. And I switch to this scrap I'm just going to show yarn. everyone for the ones that don't, don't know. Jada just put the... Yarn balls there. Yeah, they're today. just sitting in front. Just for today. Then I tie in my new color, and I am not worrying about 
pretty fancy joins. I'm just tying in with a simple knot, and then I go, 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 I go. Crochet, You're wasting time. I crochet Let's go. over top of them. Come on, get that granny square done. We still have to spin for Tamika. Tamika. Yes. I love that name, Tamika. Time's up, says Shell. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you, Shell. So you're gonna. So you're gonna stop. We're gonna spin for <laughs> Tamika. Here we go. Spin for Tamika. Start a new granny. Start a new granny. Okay. So in that case, because I am ping ponging between two, we're amending the rules a little bit today. I pull up on that. Continue with the same yarn, put that one aside, bring back my other one, tie this color in, and this is how <laughs> you get this crazy random effect happening with the granny squares. It is just so pretty. All right. So <laughs> Tori says, that's the favorite um, uh, thing on the wheel is the blind scrap graph. I, I, I like that one yes. too. You that really shakes things up for sure. All right, so Jada's back at it. Back at and it. And Shell, Shell has, has the, timer the timer going. Shell's working hard. Shell is working real hard. We might have to put her back up on the wall for <laughs> employee of the month. Shell and, and Katie are competing for employee yeah, of the we, month we right get, now. She, Katie, Katie needs to create a... Or chan, maybe channel member of the month. Channel member of the month. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. But that's really sweet. I'm picturing... I like that, that you know, the employee of the month, and they're always like, it's a cute little plaque. Yeah. That's oh, adorable. Look how, see, look at that. This just randomly occurred, oh, but look how neat it. that looks. Looks amazing. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to see. I'm trying to, one of my, one of the ways I try to crochet fast is I have to kind of tune into what I'm doing. And then I do like this body check. I go, okay, okay. Drop the shoulders, you know, take a deep breath, release the, release my wrists. Like, I, like I, I get really, really tight. And I get, and then I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And then I have to remember to relax. And the second I relax, then I can start to move a lot faster. <laughs> You're a crochet athlete. I am a crochet athlete. Well, I mean, I love, I love, I love the speed challenge that this game allows. Oh, I'm running out of yarn. I'm running out of yarn. What do we do? What do we do? Do I tie in a new, well, tie in a new um, scrap or roll the die? We're waiting for the timer to go off. Tell or, you what, let's put it to the to everybody. Do uh, I a wheel activation? Do I tie in another scrap from the scrap bag, or do we roll the die and tie in another regular yarn? What's everybody think? Let's see what pops up. Hello, Anita says hello from Denmark. Hi, Anita. Hi. What time is it in Denmark? And right is it now? cold? I bet it's cold. And are you getting the cold snap that we're all getting here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Crystal says tie in. Friendly Crochet says yes. I am crochet athlete too, says catnap crochets. <laughs> uh, scrap. Scrap. Roll and then reset the timer, uh -huh. says Tori. Shell says time's up. Okay, well, let's roll. And we got a super sticker from Monique. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So let's start with a roll. Okay, we're going to start with a roll. And then we'll do Monique's spin. And then we'll do Monique's spin. And, and then Shell can restart the timer. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Here we go. Rolling. Here we go. Rolling. What number is it? A two. A two. All right. Two. That's my two color. <laughs> so I'm going to, haha, <laughs> I'm going to, two, two. Tie You're in my. Two, two. Tie in my color. Nothing fancy. Just a regular old knot, which I crochet over top of when I get to it. <laughs> and off I go. We got a super chat from Lynn. Lynn says, I just love watching Jada. So joyful. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Okay, I'm off. You can tell so. she's happy because she's wearing her half-built <laughs> poncho. She does this. She ha she builds things like halfway and then wears them around the house, like hats and scarves. And <laughs> right now, it's the poncho. I like it. Well, I realize that <laughs> while I'm wearing it, it's also falling into place. All right, let's spin for Monique. Okay, Here so we go. Spinning for Monique. I'm putting my my, hook, my hook hooks down. down. Monique gets color position switch up. Oh, Okay, so uh, that doesn't change the color that I'm using, but all of my little numbers. numbers all move one space to the right. So number six basically becomes number one, one becomes two, etc. All right, so switching them up. So switching them up. You're going to stitch a little, and then we will spin for Lynn. And then we'll spin for spin Lynn. For Lynn. Spin, for spin, spin, spin for Lynn. Spin for Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love some new linen. That would be that'd be lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spin for. All right, so I'm back at it. 
This <laughs> is already turning into a really funky square. I love it. Monique says, I haven't figured out how to get the comment and the sticker or super chat to go together. Guess I just have to keep practicing. Um, so the super chat is the one that allows you to leave a message. Leave a message. Mm -hmm. The sticker is the one that's just the little animated emoji. I don't, you can't leave messages with it. Speaking of which, if you leave a super chat, you can also decide whether we spin or roll. Yes. That's a, an amendment we added a few games ago, and I really like that. Yeah, one. that's fun. That one's fun too. So I'm going to spin for Lynn. All right. So Here we go. Hook down. down, Missy. Don't make me break out the secret weapon. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Start a new granny. Okay, so because we're playing amended rules, I'm going back to the previous one. So I pull up on that. The color doesn't change, just the square does. So that one goes over <coughs> here. And then I tie in the color that I'm currently using, which is great because there was already some of this <laughs> in that square. And then Shell is going to restart the timer. <laughs> Janice says she walks around her house with um, with uh, still the tails out. Yes. So without without weeding in the tails. <laughs> well, having a piece of, when you're making a piece of clothing for yourself, it's it's helpful sometimes just to wear it around while it's in the process of being built because it allows everything to sort of settle into the right place. <laughs> it's like a little bit of blocking before blocking. Tori says, this is so helping my mental health. <laughs> Just not getting my cleaning done. Ah, <laughs> clean schmeen. Clean schmeen. I was looking at our family room the other day, and I'm just looking at the piles of dust, and I'm like, what is going on? It's the winter. Where does this dust come it's from? Like the furnace turns on. And you it... vacuum it, and literally two hours later, yeah. it's like it's so like you never did it. anything. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, the winter, the furnace. So, um, Shell, did I miss anything? Are we like, should I be spinning? I, I, we, we spun for Lynn. I guess we're waiting for the timer to go off. That's good. Okay. All right. Hello from Saskatchewan, Canada. Hey, hi. Hello. What's the temperature it's right now? It's cold out there, I bet. Love how the poncho turned out, says Peggy. It's coming together. It looks great. I'm loving it. We're working on the hood. Working now. on the hood pieces, because why not? You can do this in any order you want. And then we're going to put on row two a little later. <laughs> Terry says the dogs want you to continue since their bath will occur when we are done. I'm sure they do. They're sitting in the corner doing that thing. <laughs> I don't like this. Mary says, love making your super soap saver. I made over 20 of them. Awesome. And the cotton veggie bags. Awesome. Those are... I love those. Those are things. fantastic. The um, I go back to those the patterns. Fruit, the vegetable over over bag. Um, um, the I always anytime somebody moves into a new house, I always bring them a, a little collection. The of soap saver scrubby. Soap saver scrubby. Some new soaps. Um, um, some new dishcloths yeah, or face cloths. We have the the plastic bag dispenser mm -hmm. and um, the uh, dust mitt. And the dust mitt. That's a good one. That's a cute one. Um, let's see. Oh, in Saskatchewan, it is minus 43 oh. with the wind chill. Oh, my gosh. Time's up. Ding, 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 Thanks ding, show. ding. Ding, 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 ding. There, I'm doing the timer. So first, Shell said the timer's up. Then we got a super chat from Lynn. Oh, okay. And Lynn says roll. Roll. So, All right. Should we blend two into one? Well, or should we roll, roll and then roll? Well, let's roll and roll. You want to roll? And yeah, because that, right. that's, that's that's fair. The way it should be. Okay. Here we go. So we're rolling for the timer. We got a one. We got a one. Okay. So I go back from. I put. Oh wait, this is number one because so we do you the get to continue. Up. You get and to I continue. Ha <laughs> <laughs> We tripped you up. <laughs> we tripped Jay Turn. up. She sniffed when she didn't have to. Yes. We are on a roll. Oh, okay. No big deal. Who needs a pool noodle when you have a, an adorable troll? <laughs> I'm going to um, measure this square. <laughs> so 
So in the event that I run out of one of my main Okay, colors, so now we're going to roll for Lynn. All right, so I'm going to so put my hook down. Lynn asked for a roll. Hook's down, Missy. Lynn gets, Let's see what we get. Lynn gets something a roll. new, something new. Six. Six. That's this one. So I'm back to that color again. Okay, oh, so wow. I Look at that. Up. All those yarns are getting skipped today. So because of the color position switch up, this one, which used to be number one, is number six now. Here so we go. Back to that. Back to that. And I'm tying that one in. Which is really kind of working out nicely because that color is already in this. this Getting heavily square. trolled by Shell, as usual. That's it. That uh, that employee of the month plaque is coming down. <laughs> the troll is going to be the, the employee of the month. Yeah, the troll is going to be number one. <laughs> employee of the month. <laughs> or the pool noodle. Or the pool noodle. We'll put the pool oh, noodle up funny. as employee of the month just sitting there. <laughs> I didn't even get to use my special weapon today. Well, I'm being good. You can't, you can't whack me if I. You know, it's true. I, I'm, I'm really itching to, 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 to whack you. Though. I make sure that you, you behave. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick break, and I'm going to measure this. Oh, I already love how this is going. So, measuring tape. I am at. That square's looking amazing. Almost right? ten inches, so definitely a few more rows. Captain to go. Picard says Sissel. Mm -hmm. Sissel is uh, delayed. Hey, that's, that's a really delayed chat. That's a really delayed. She forgot to put enter. <laughs> me too, Captain Picard. Yes, all the me way. Me too. Mm -hmm. Favorite. <laughs> so, uh, Shell, how's that timer coming? Shell's on it. She's got the. Uh... We rolled for Lynn, right? Yep. Yeah, we yep. did. Okay. Everyone's being kind to you today. They they don't want to trip you up no. too much. Hey, everybody's chilling. Everybody's... Hey, today's a chill day. Everybody's... Today's a today's a mental health mental day. health day. We're all taking <clears throat> it easy. We're all finishing up some works in progress, or we're just hanging out for some company. <laughs> And you're and I'm dropping the die. You're dropping the die. <laughs> Even when I drop it, I roll the same number. <laughs> uh, what is going on with this? You do this every single time. You you group things. I think there's. I think this. I think this dies off off balance. But then like Where's it'll. The you'll All always right. roll fives or you'll always roll ones. Like so, it's not the die. I don't know about the balance. It's you, your hands weighted. I don't know about the balance of this. <laughs> Time's up, says Shell. Okay. Hooks down. I'm busting it out. Hooked wow, Jada's it. really behaving today. I'm running out of a main color. You're so really I'm gonna behaving. To, I'm going to have to tie in a new one sooner or later, but I got a ton of yarn around me. I'll just pick one. Well, let's hope that we uh, get a different number. Here we go. Rolling the die. Let's go. Let's go. We got a four. Four. All right. So that's this pretty blue one. So I'm going to snip my yarn, and this, whatever's left of it, goes back over here. That's a number six. So the four is this pretty blue. I'm going to tie <laughs> it in and continue. All right. Excellent. I'm going to sit up a little bit here to the table. When things get heavier or bigger, I find it really helps to to work on a surface like a table or maybe even like your lap or something. <laughs> Shell says it would be helpful if we had a times up emoji. Yes, it would. Well, pick one today and we'll use it. Well, we've got uh, we've got the Katie signal. Oh, how about the sheep? Oh, yeah. Sheep is good. That's for times good because up, that cause reminds like, me to measure. Know, go, go to measure, go to sleep. Take a nap. Take a break. It'll be the sheep today. That'll be the time's up emoji. We have a new member. Ding, 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 ding. So I'll put my hook down. Hook down. Okay, that, that activates the wheel. A of big chaos. thank you to Anita for joining. Hi, Anita. Thank you. And we're going to spin. All right, let's spin for Anita. Here we go. What does Anita get? Anita gets finish the row. Thank you, Anita. Anita Lovely. is being kind. Yes, to Jada. that works out well. So I'm going to keep on going here. This is, I'm also mixing some of the, uh, because this is a real scrap a thon, <laughs> not all of my yarns are the same weight, but it doesn't really matter because I'm using the same hook. And because it's, I'm sort of going for that real boho kind of look, it's <laughs> yeah, going to add good. to that. So some rows are going to be thick, some rows are going to be thin. It's fine. Oh, 
All right. I'm, uh, my hands are cold, believe it or not. Despite yeah, mine are too. I, I mean, I mean, it's I'm, cool. Not that it's surprised. It's, I'm not surprised. It's like when the weather's like this, it doesn't matter how high you turn the furnace up. It's always cold. <laughs> it is. No, I don't like that. Wow, what happened here? Aha! Trip up. I tripped myself up. You did. Wow! Somehow I knotted my yarn. I'm not even sure how I did that. <laughs> Yeah, we have more likes than people watching. Woohoo! <laughs> Achievement! <laughs> I think it's because a lot of people have been coming and going. Yeah. And yeah, that's... they come and they go because, you know, everyone has stuff to do. Yeah, everybody's got stuff to do. I'm not really not sure what But that is kind of fun. That's there a first. <laughs> Probably because we've been going for a long time. Oh, my goodness. We're at two and a quarter hours. Two and a quarter hours? Well, we did say it was going to be a marathon. It's a marathon. I want to get this poncho uh, largely built. All right. We should have a snacking marathon. <laughs> snacking marathon. Okay, so we got a super chat. Okay. Hooks down. Okay, let me just finish that. Right. Hey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> so our super chat here is from Caroline. Hey, Caroline. Thank you. Caroline says, I just wanted to join in the, in the fun. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. All right. Excellent. So let me make sure I got everyone there. Yes. So spin for Carolyn. Spin for Carolyn. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Where's the end of this rope? <laughs> Carolyn gets finished the rope. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. All right. So I'm continuing. So, Shell, start that timer. Let me know when it ends. Am I the only one that's not snacking in the chat? Where are my snacks? It's the, uh, I want <clears throat> snacks. It's the Friday afternoon snack attack. <laughs> we should make some Cinnabons this afternoon. They're, yeah, they're, it's just that, that takes, uh, we make them from scratch. So they, it takes a while to make the dough. Mm. I'd rather. Uh, we should eat Cinnabons make, this afternoon. I'd rather just make cookies or something. Ooh, cookies. Yeah. It's all good. Can't complain about cookies. Time flies when you're having fun. Wow, this is how I got it. I see what I did here. I'm. So are you finishing the row? I'm no finishing. Cheating. So I'm finishing the row. Um, when they when the granny squares um, start to get really big, I just finish the side. Do you get to finish the row and then start the timer? Yes, Shell is correct. You get to finish the row. Oh, okay. Um, We've I'm... been kind of doing it the other way. Yeah, you but know that what? makes sense. If the it, order is finished, the row, you get to finish it the row. It all contributes to... Unless someone super chats yes. and interrupts that. Yeah, it, it all contributes to sort of that randomness. <laughs> I'm almost finished here, this row. The problem is Jada crochets so fast, I, I just start see. the timer right away. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll finish the whole square. <laughs> Rachel says, your poncho is looking great, and so is your hood. Yeah, you know what? Thank Show you. the square. It yeah. is looking really good. So I'm just going to join that. So that is, oh. That's looking real, real nice. This is so, again, That's see now. make a fancy hood. See how, like, you have to make it bigger yeah, yeah, so that it yeah. can cover. And then you get a. And then there. it's, yeah, so it's it's about 11 inches now. It's still not big enough. Mm -hmm. I want it to be at least 12, but I think I'm going to go even bigger. So. Okay. So there we go. So that was me finishing the row shell. I think I think So we... then we roll. We roll? Yeah, okay. because you finished the row. We finished the row. We didn't get any interruptions. Nope. With so, the let's wheel. Roll. so let's roll. So let's roll. A three. A three. A three. A three. A three. A three. Oh, oh good. Oh good. That's a completely new one. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna snip my yarn. That is number four. It goes back. And then number three. Is and the timer timer. went off. So Oh, perfect. That's a, that's good timing. So Shell can start the timer again. Yes. And I am off. Start timer shell. Two. There is a little timer uh, emoji, which is cute. A little clock. One, two, three. So we're very skinny yarn to a very thick yarn. It's going to be one nifty looking. <laughs> um, you can also line your hood. So before you would you would make your two granny squares and you would 
sew the hood part together. So you sew across the top seam, you sew across the side seam. And before you attach it to your poncho, you can add a lining. Um, just basically all you want to do is create a, cut a rectangle of fabric that is the same width and length as your two granny squares side by side. So sew the top seam or your two granny squares, lay it out flat, cut a piece of fabric that's a little bit longer, wider and a little bit longer, and then finish sewing up your hood. Fold your lining in half, and then you can like just sort of turn it under. You want it to be, you want like use, use our little tutorial where we show you how to sew a lining to a scarf, and just make sure that the edges of your granny squares are still free and clear so you can sew through them. But then you can add your lining to your, your hood before you actually mm -hmm. sew the hood to your poncho. And that makes it extra cozy. Mm -hmm. I might even do that, you know. Make cookies? No. <laughs> add a lining to my hood. We're all talking about baked goods I and see. chips in the in the chat. Here. You can also add a lining to your hood after the fact. You don't have to do it as you crochet. So, mm -hmm. like I said, the fun thing about these these poncho project projects is that you can you can do all the steps out of order. They don't have to all be done at the same, in a particular order. The only thing you really want to think about first is making sure you know how big you need your, your granny squares to be and maybe how many you need, depending on how many rows of granny squares you want in your poncho. That's really the only thing you need to start with. Kind of a peaceful round of the granny squares. Yeah, today. it's really nice. It's also just nice hanging out with everybody. I know it's, it's, uh, it's, it's. Oh. Timer. Timer. Oh, okay. Hook Thank down. you, Shell. Thanks, Shell. Hook down. Oh, this is this is really turning into a nice one. So um, we roll. Roll that dice. Here we go. Make it nice. <laughs> a three. A three. Ah, same color, so I get to continue. Oh, you lucky. And I didn't cut it this time. I looked first. <laughs> There's a lot of discussion about tasty treats in the uh, chat right well, now. Well, and you know what? We're heading into the weekend. That's exactly what we should be talking. Oh, and because it's the Lunar New Year, I mean, the you know, the one of the biggest parts about this holiday is like eating good food with family. So, tell everyone about how how much you've been baking this past year. <laughs> I've never baked this much in my life. <laughs> but just about every single day, I bake a loaf, a bread cookies we've been eating brownies homemade pizzas and homemade cookies yeah. and homemade cinnabons and home everything i've been i mean bread I, sticks cook, and and that's on top of the regular cooking. and then the regular yeah. obvious yeah i've never baked good this stuff much in my life. i'm happy yeah you're pretty pleased <laughs> <laughs> have we had the question of the day from Mackenzie? yes we did yes right at the beginning the question was um would you rather would you rather go visit a, a new state mm -hmm. slash province. province yeah or would you rather stay home and crochet that was the question of the day yes. there were there were two actually there was another question I'm trying to remember it maybe someone will remember there was another one was that another one? was being asked yeah but that was the uh, the main question of the day. That was Mackenzie's question of the day? Yes. So um, let us know how you feel about that. Yeah. Uh, this is coming along nicely here. It is. I feel like I've got a good speed going. Shell says, we're finally going to make those chocolate-covered peanut butter balls for Valentine's Day. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yum, 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 that yum, yum. sounds... So good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be crocheting in the Bahamas. Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? I would love to be on a beach right now. A nice warm beach. Not like, you know. It's usually about this time that we're kind of tired of the, the winter. Yeah. It's like you can handle November, December, and even January. You're mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's all right. Do some skiing, you know. And then February comes and it's like February, March, and you're just like, okay, that, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> and then you still have all of April. The, to get for, you know, you get kind of tired of the furnace, the forced air, and you get. Yeah. 
It's also coldest in it's February, so usually, cold. isn't it? I am flying through this middle ball of color. I'm going to have to replace it with something. Everyone's being real gentle on you today. It's because everybody's... They don't want to activate Lula's Wheel of Chaos. Everybody's just chilling out. Just chilling, eating peanut butter chocolate balls. Having snacks, enjoying their Friday afternoon. That's Salt why and vinegar here. chips, I'm hearing out there. So... Stay and crochet non-stop, says Catnap. You'd rather stay home and crochet. One, two, three. <laughs> Lori's watching us while at work. Ooh. So you're stealth watching. <laughs> okay, I'm going to measure this. <laughs> yes. I am at 12 and a half timers, inches. Timer's off. Okay. Show your square. That looks great. Yeah, this is, this is looking Thank so Thank you, nice. Shell. Oh, wow. Look at that. You were able to get a whole border. So... You this is 12 texter. and a half inches. Looks like you need just a little more. So I want to go bigger. Yeah, yeah, you do. I want to yeah, go bigger. You're need more. Maybe 13, maybe 14 inches. So I'm going to say 14 to 15. The bigger, the better. Because you also want it quite, to be deep. Make, too, it, right? make it touch right at the top of your head. Yeah, right in the middle. Let's let's see. Show the camera. Get your hand out of the way. So it looks like at least another two inches. Now, remember, when you connect it, it stretches. It'll stretch a little bit. But you also want depth. You want it to wrap around the back of your head. Oh, yeah. That's you right. know? And you want a little so in front. So you can keep making it So I'm going to say a minimum of two more inches, mm -hmm. if not bigger. Yeah. All right. That's um, my guess. Keep going. What does everyone else think? Um, I need to replace my middle ball because I've just run out of it. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to replace it with. I've got blues and greens and grays and whites um there's that's kind of what is mostly running through this thing so greens grays we have a super chat wheel activation wheel from activation. tori all right um i need to get another <laughs> ball of yarn i need another ball of yarn i um, think i'm gonna like, replace there's what? like 300 balls I... behind you literally <laughs> I, I want to replace the white with the white, and my white is, is somewhere else. I'll be right All back. Right. So let me just go grab that, and then we'll do a wheel. You better not be cheating over there. Okay, so Tori says, spin on blind scrap bag. Grab. <laughs> Don't forget to click the like button, guys, if you're having fun. This is hilarious. We have more likes than viewers. That's hilarious. That's the first. That's good. People are popping in. It's because we're it's because we're going for we're going for quite a while today. This is this is uh, yeah. this is new. This is uh, we're just yeah, streaming just, just while we streaming just while hanging we work. out. Okay, so this is I've replaced the white with this one. So I've got a I've got yarn. So what are we doing? Well, a Tori super chatted. Okay. And Tori says spin. Spin. Okay. So I'm just gonna pause while you spin. Yep. And we got a super chat from Monique. Monique says, Thanks, let's Monique. do a roll. <laughs> okay. And we got a new member. Mm -hmm. Big welcome to Vanessa. Big welcome. Thank you. So uh, Tori Spin is a color position switch up. Color position switch up. Okay. So um, three becomes four. Four becomes five. Five becomes six. Six becomes one. One becomes two. Yes. I like Dax okay. too. Dax was a cool character. Dax is very cool. I liked yeah. her character. Yeah, hey, I loved that. Very, actually. very good character. Very mm -hmm. complicated. Yes. Cool. It was very cool. Um, I also really <clears throat> liked the Ferengi, the Ferengis, the running the bar. That was that the, was one of the their best stories parts. were funny. They were so funny, <laughs> constantly getting into trouble. All right, I'm going to tie in. So this is a continuation of color number what is now two, and we are off. So get a few stitches in. Oh, you're gonna. You're. Oh, I see. You replaced your white. Yeah, I replaced the white. <clears throat> you get a few stitches in, and then we're going to spin for Monique. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry. Monique requests a roll. A roll. Let's do a roll, please. One roll. I think that's a good idea. And then we're going to spin for Vanessa. Okay. All right. Well, I got some stitches going, so if you want to dive in Teresa there. says, oh, I missed all the Granny Square parties. Guess I'll have to go back and look. Yes, yep. they're all up and available. You can watch them all at your leisure. Yeah, you can play along with them. You can play along if you like. You can just listen, like podcast style, yeah. while you, you know, do your chores. You just want a little company <laughs> in your ear? Yep. Just go into our playlist area, and you'll find them all there. 
Okay, so let's spin for Monique. Okay, so no, nope. I'm sorry. You're I keep rolling, saying spin. I'm for, rolling Monique. for Monique. Yes. Monique requested a roll. Here we go. A six. Six, and that is definitely a color change. So wow, that's gonna switch it up. Good. It goes here, and then we go back to the red, which is now also running out. Quark, that's his name. Quark. Quark, yes. Quark was funny. We'll be doing more live Granny Square games. Yeah. We, we just, um, we've been on a roll with other stuff, other stuff lately. Going on, we yeah. did the budget, the crafting budget. Mm -hmm. um, works in progress. Works organizer. in progress, yeah. But we'll get back to those. Yeah, we've really wanted to use up the squares that we'd already made. Um, hey, Vanessa says, having so much fun playing along. Four squares started. Whoa! Awesome! All right. If anyone else is playing along, let us know. Vanessa's flying. Holy smokes. Yes, I have the pool noodle ready. It's just that Jada's actually behaving today for once. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh my gosh, I'm using up another yarn. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to um I'm supposed to spin. Why don't you why don't you stop? Okay. And I'll spin for Vanessa. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Spinning for Vanessa, our new new member. Return to previous green. Okay, so All I'm right. just going to, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that where it is i need to replace color number six which all right i'm still so using you go ahead and do that so question we will is, allow you this uh this it amendment. was a red i'm wondering if i should hmm. <laughs> just looking through all of my colors i'm really loving the half built poncho that's pretty i don't know if i want the pink one yeah it's actually I'm, I'm, i have to say i'm enjoying wearing it because it's a little turn yourself here. to the side so everyone can see the half built Half built poncho. Well, this is yeah. how it falls down the middle. Look how fantastic that looks. It's pretty. I love the color. Obviously, when you get the second row in, it's going to be heavier. Um, I, I love it. I think it's pretty. I need to go get another ball of yarn. I'm trying to replace uh, the red with another red. Is there a chart or table that gives an idea of how much yarn is for a C to C blanket? Haven't had a chance to look in the tools yet. Um. We have that we have that video many, but that's granny square. Uh, does that does that cover um, how much yarn you need for no. C to C? So um, it depends on the yarn you're using. It depends on the hook you're using. It depends on how big a blanket you're making, and there's like all these other little factors involved. So <laughs> I usually, if I if we're talking about a size four medium weight yarn and whatever hook goes along best with that for your tension. Then typically I would say you need <laughs> around 1,400 yards for a throw-sized blanket. A throw-sized blanket is a bit smaller than a twin, so 1,400 yards is the rule of thumb for a throw-sized blanket, and that covers a variety of stitch patterns. Um, depending on the pattern you use, you're going to use up more yarn. A corner to corner, the traditional corner to corner with that block stitch, mm. is a bit of a yarn eater. Um, so always err on the side of getting more yarn than you think you need because you don't ever want to run out. That's a really annoying thing. <laughs> um, and the other way to have a really good idea of how much you're going to need is, especially with the corner to corner, it's actually kind of easy. You know how many blocks are going to wind up in your blanket. If you do like a little scrap um, sample with a hook and a yarn weight that you think you want to use, you start that corner to corner, make it like a six inch sort of like triangle, six inches, six <laughs> inches, and then pull it all like count how many pairs per. So, you know, row six will have, will be six across and so on and so on and so on. Pull out the yarn and see how much yarn is in a, a little kind of sample that size or pull out the yarn and count how many yards per little individual corner to corner block. And that will give you, keep writing it all down. That will give you some, um, measurement equations for you to sort of figure out how much yarn you might need, depending on how big a blanket you want to make. Um, it's always helpful to know how many yards per like 
like, you know, one yard equals eight double crochet, let's say, or <laughs> it's, it's helpful to know that because if you can sort of pull out and do a little bit of math, you can get kind of a decent idea of how much yarn you're going to need. Okay. So um, <clears throat> but, um, I'm letting you get a few. Always get more than you need. <laughs> oh, you, I'm sorry. You were answering that. Yeah, question. I was answering that question, but I think, I think I covered it. Always get more than you need. Always get more than you that's, need. That's Jada's and philosophy. And then fiddle around a little bit with um, stitch samplers and then pull them out and measure how much yarn is in it. Um, and that will give you an idea of like, you know, six inches <clears throat> of, of uh, six inches of this particular stitch equals, you know, 14 yards of yarn or whatever it works out to be. <laughs> okay. So we're a little behind here. We have okay. to spin because okay. I believe the timer went Did off. Did it go off? Okay. I was but we also got a, a um, renewal membership Nanny. from Granny Banani. Granny Banani. Hey, Nanny May. How's it going? Granny Banani says, hello, my cuties. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. We haven't talked to Granny Banani in a while. Granny Banani's been busy. How are things? How's your um, how's your laundry hamper doing? <laughs> Is it full? Okay, so I said I was gonna spin, and then we get a spin for Granny Banani. You want to spin? Or we'll roll for Granny Banani. Are you so you're spinning? I'm spinning for the timer ending. So oh no, that should have been a roll. That should be a roll. So. All right, so. How about let's just spin for Granny Banani? Okay. She got color position switch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm you were answering a question I couldn't get to all the. Uh, okay, so I'm moving. It's getting complicated. Color is here. changing. I know that whenever we play this game, it gets very complicated. So that goes there. This goes here, and this goes here. So I've changed up my color numbering. I'm still working on this color. I really like this. I replaced my kind of twisted tweedy red and white color with a solid burgundy. This is really nice. Granny Banani says, I'm old, but I LOL. Well, we're glad you're good. We're glad to hear that. Wow. Granny Banani is also known as Nani May. Yeah, Nani May Crochet. I believe. Mm -hmm. Nani May Crochet. <clears throat> <laughs> it's been washed a thousand times <laughs> in uh, in super hot water. Yes, yes. <laughs> Drink killing hot water. Okay, so Shell, thank God Shell's here helping out. Yes, yes. So I'm going to roll for Shell. Okay, so Shell. Roll for the timer, I assume. Timer's gone? Yes. So here we go, rolling. We got a one. We got a one. Okay, yeah. so I am changing back to look how different that square white. I know Ooh, it's nice. so dark. I nice, love it. Nice. Back to one. One happens to be this white color. <laughs> Tying in my yarn. All right, and off I go. I have to uh, get this this little granny square to catch up in size. It's so much smaller than the other one. <laughs> All right. Hello from Alaska. Hi. Oh, Hi. it's cold there too. How do I become a member? Um there is a well there should be a button underneath the chat um, that's it says join. It's I don't know if it's no the one that says join is under the video. You know what? I'll just put a link that sh um, gives you the information, and then you can. Yeah. There's a link you can click on. It'll give you all the info you need. You can click the join button that's under the video. You can click the the super chat button, which is I believe it's a little dollar sign, and then it there should be like a menu Other there options there they keep changing they keep everything. changing that one so i'm just going to do the join link and then you can read through the information um here we go there it is in the chat <laughs> everyone's 
Everyone can't believe how fast your little fingers are going. I, you know what? I, I, I'm even feeling a bit slow today because it's it's <laughs> cold. I, my fingers are still cold. You Can should you see her it? when she really gets going. Yeah, when I'm really warmed up. <clears throat> Timer. Okay. Hooks down. Oh, wow. That is... Thank you, Shell. Starting to look really pretty. Hooks down. Look. Oh, wow. That looks nice. I mean, red, white, and blue. The crimson. Like, you can't go wrong yeah, with, I know. With, with those two Very colors. sharp it's colors. It's just such... Mm. Here this we one, go. This one's looking beautiful, though, too. I like how that one looks so much lighter. Yeah. I'm going to look cool. It's going to look really different. neat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So thanks to our timer, Shell. Employee. You know what? Shell's back up on, on the wall. She's Employee of the month. Yeah. <laughs> she has surpassed the pool noodle. <laughs> a four. A four. Yeah. Oh, that's that little green one. If you're playing along. I think Vanessa's playing along. So I clip that one. That one goes back. Now we're to number four. This is all I have left with number four. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> it's okay. All right. And off I go. I gotta work over top of them. I like to try and crochet over top of those little tiny knots and tails. And just to when I'm doing that, I just crochet really tightly. That's all. And then I don't find they fall out. How are your little fingers feeling? They're fine. Yeah? Yeah, I'm doing you okay. You feel like you can keep going? I think I can keep going for a little while. This is our longest live ever. I know. And I was just sitting here thinking, you know, we, we don't have to do this entire thing today. We can pick this up again and just sure. continue the construction with another live. I think that would probably be wise. You know, just so we can spread it out and everybody can yeah. hang out and have some fun. I'm really enjoying this, though. I kind of like... So you want to stick to the granny I, square I think game I want to get my hood go pieces. back to the construction yeah. another day? Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep going with We'll the have game. a part two to the construction. Yeah. That reminds me. Uh, let everyone know about the sheet we did. Yes, so yes. So if they would like to get a copy, it's free. Yes. Um, a lot of the information that Show you need everyone our little... is on this. It's a free printable. Um, you can also just download it to your e-reader and use it that way too. And it explains how to get the measurements for your squares, the minimum measurement, how many squares you need per row of a granny square poncho, how to start the layout. Um, <laughs> we've got some really helpful little diagrams here. There's a little bit of math, a mathematical formula to follow, super simple stuff. And then just like joining them together, there's some information on that. If you've never joined granny squares together, it's kind of like, it's no it's no different than basically making a blanket with a with the center one not there. So this is a really simple construction and you can join your squares any way you want. We have videos on how to do that. Um, if you So if you're made a granny square blanket, then this is basically exactly the same thing. So no, no worries about joining. You can do it any way you want, whatever's comfortable for you. Uh, whatever you maybe want to do for your design. And then there's a little bit of uh, fun information at the bottom on just finishing off your, your, the bottom of your poncho or the neck. We actually worked on the neck today. You saw what I did today. I kind of closed it in and which is good. So I like this opening and then I'm going to end up putting my entire poncho hood. I'm probably going to start it here. If it's big enough, I'm going to go, but we're going to get to that. We're going to do that. We'll too. do another, another, we'll do uh, another live. We'll basically make this entire one. poncho with everybody live. I yeah. think that's, that's fun. Yeah. Um, I need to replace the rest of my number four yarn. Whoa, you are burning I through the yarn. I am eating it up. This is great. So, um, Sheesh. I've got some greens here. You know, I've got a, I've got a basket of green. Let's see here. This is one of our big, beautiful baskets, but tiny. <laughs> The baby beautiful see, basket. I've got some nice colors. That's pretty thick, but maybe I'll use it up. Eh, it's kind of thin. Scrap eating. Okay. You know what? This is kind of thick, but I did use some pretty thick yarn on my other side. So I'm going to go with this thick stuff. I'll just put this down here. So this is going to be my new ball uh, size number four, or I should say yarn ball number four, because I'm using up that color. So I'm just going to tie it in. And uh, this is such a scrappy, scrappy do kind of a, of a, a, a poncho. All these crazy colors are just going to, just going to look nice together. Sometimes you can go, you can just, you mix together so much that it ends up kind of looking like a garden. <laughs> All right. 
it. So this is a bit thicker. Now, a, a sort of a quick note on mixing weights together. When you're typically making granny squares or blankets, you'll often hear me say, stick to the same yarn weight because you you want your you want your tension to be even throughout your blanket. Um, if you're making something super scrap related like this, then there's a little more leeway with yarn weights. Um, I, for example, am using mainly size four. There's a couple of size fives in here, maybe a little bit of size three, so the slightly lighter weight. This one I would say is, I'd probably classify this as a size six. So the, the weight of the yarn is going to change the size of the row of the granny square. But because I'm mixing so much together and there's like a lot of changes happening relatively quickly, I'm not really too worried about it throwing off the overall size of the squares, especially since these are bigger granny squares. So I'm just going to, there's a knot. We've got a new member. Hello. Let me make sure, did I miss a member? I'm going to leave that in as I go. Penny, did I mention Penny? Penny has come up. She has, right? Um, because Penny's a member, and I, I'm pretty. Let me know, Penny, if I missed announcing you or spinning for you. But I thought maybe I did. Then we've got Crafty Ferret Mama. <laughs> <laughs> do you have ferrets? I'd like to see pictures if Aww, you do. Ferrets. Those and we got a super chat from Shelly. Oh my gosh! Okay, so hello, Shelly. So thank you very much, everyone. I guess then I will put my hook down. You better put your hooks and down. And I'm, because I'm just, I'm, there's a lot going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though. This is fun. Okay. So also the timer went off. Oh, Thank you, Shell. Okay, yeah. Great. So let's, let's start with Crafty Ferret Mama. Okay. So we're going to spin for Crafty Ferret yes. Mama. Thank you. So one spin. We'll see where that takes us. Crafty Ferret Mama, finish the row. Finish the row. All right. Sweet. So I will do that. Um, I'm trying to also crochet somewhat tighter because I'm using a thicker weight yarn right now just to try and keep my shells from, from sizing out too much. Aloha, Jada. I am glad I caught your live again. Hello. Aloha and warm hugs to you oh. and your family from Hawaii. Thank you. I'll take it. I wish I was in Hawaii right Big, now. Big, warm, sunny hugs. <laughs> sounds wonderful. It is minus 22 outside, so we don't have it quite as cold Boo. as the rest of Canada, but Boo. minus 22 is darn cold, and Boo. that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. And... Oh, cool. You brought out a green. I, I brought out a very thick green. Oh, I like it. Yeah. So I like it too. That looks great. This is, it's going to just be completely nuts. You're having way too much fun. I love this. Is this is supposed to be difficult for you. I love this. It's supposed it's to be fun. a struggle. No. No. It's Friday. No time for struggles on a Friday. Okay. We need to spin. No, we need to roll. We're rolling? For Shelly. Yeah. Shelly says, says roll. I would love to play this game while making a blanket that's one giant granny square. Yes. Would just love would just have to change some of the rules on spin. Yep. Yep. Yes. It, that's a great idea. That'd be fun. You know, that is one of my favorite the giant classic granny, the blankets. Super granny. <laughs> it's just an ever-ending granny square yeah, because yeah. it just looks so so granny chic. Like, yeah. I just, just I love one it. one giant square. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yes. Yeah. So we have two. We have two now. We have to do a giant granny one day and then and and, a, and the MMA. A granny square mile a minute. Our granny yeah. square mile a minute. Granny square game mile yeah. a minute. M -M -A -M we, we did the chain. We did the, uh, Christmas, the Christmas chain just before Christmas. That yes. Was fun. That was fun. I liked that. Okay. So I'm rolling for show. Okay. Here we go. Rolling for Shelly. Rolling for Shelly. A two. A two. That is not, a color change. I'm not change. sneezing. Oh, wow. I'm it's going... a two, not a two. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I, this is number four going back. This is a size thick. Six, it's very thick, and I'm literally transitioning to the skinniest yarn I have, which I would classify as a two, three. It's very, very skinny. So, this is going to look funny. Mm -hmm. But, actually, you know what? I might just run this alongside another skinny yarn. Can you please not. remind me what hook size you're using? I'm using a size seven. 
but you can use any hook you want. Uh, when I make granny squares, I often like to use a slightly larger hook, seven millimeter. So not size seven, sorry, seven millimeter. Um, that is, I don't know if there's like a US classification for that. So seven millimeter is like, eh, it's close to a six and a half millimeter, which is a K. It's a K. It's close to a K. Uh, so it's a little bit larger and that is just so I can move a little bit quicker. It makes the granny squares a little <laughs> bit more kind of floppy. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to run this alongside. You know what? I think I will. I'm going to run alongside another yarn. Maybe this gray. Yeah. Just because this is so skinny coming off of the size six, thick, six thickness, I'm going to actually just run two skinnier yarns together because why not? <laughs> I'm just going to treat them as the same yarn. So I'm adding just, so this is a, a blue and a gray. It's going to look nice. Vanessa says sometimes a heavier weight can stabilize a lighter one. Yes. Especially when you're making something as kind of zany as this whole granny square poncho. Um, but I didn't want to transition from a size six to a size two because that would just because I'm also using a bigger hook. So I've got a whole bunch of things going on here. <laughs> Yours truly by Rose says, I'm so glad I'm still catching the live. Hey. I have been in back and back to meetings at work and I needed a much needed break. Oh, yes. We noticed that everyone's been popping in and out. That's great. Yeah, it's fun. It's wonderful. It's nice to be able to sort of. We're still in. here. Yeah, we're still here. We're here, here for a little while longer yet. We've got to do a little bit more of this. We thought we would uh, go for a, a mini marathon. Yeah. Just this, a, this is a mini marathon. It's a celebration for the Lunar New Year, Valentine's Day, and Family Day. We got a lot packed into this weekend. Yeah. Wow, it's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is super colorful. So I'd like to know how everyone's been... Um, hanging out and using their time here in the in the chat I'm, I'm seeing some some people talking about making themselves coffee mm. uh, vanilla cannoli cream oh whoa gosh. you can put vanilla cannoli creamer in a coffee that sounds good cannoli amaret amaretto creamer mm. everybody's getting their weekend on <laughs> did i forget some new members i i don't think so um i got Crafty Ferret. I got Shelly's super chat. Um, Granny Banani renewed. Vanessa's new member, I believe. Um, did I miss someone? Let me know. I, I thought that I got them all here. What is Family Day? Family Day is a recent addition to our roster of holidays that we get to celebrate here in Canada. Um, and it's, I don't know, it showed up, they just sort of like, and, and they kind of created what, it. What was it? It's about six, seven, eight years ago they, they started it. But it it's not all the provinces. I was surprised to I was surprised to find out that it's not all provinces. It's not all the provinces. Which is confusing. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think they felt <laughs> like we needed a day off in February mm -hmm. because we didn't have one. And they put it on the, the thing. The, it, the it, hovers, it hovers around Valentine's. It's, yeah, it hovers yeah. around. It's the Valentine's weekend usually. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking it like I was, well, I'm not sure. It's a day off. It's a day off. From, it's a, it's a statutory, statutory holiday. holiday. Yeah. Um, um, but I'm not sure like if there's any extra meaning behind it. Um, or if they were just like, hey, we, we need a day off in February and let's like spend it with family. I'm not sure if that's what the meaning was or if they were trying to kind of, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly why, but it's, it's, it's great. Mm -hmm. We like it. Time to roll. Thank All you, right. Shell. All right. Woohoo. Timer's gone off. So pausing. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm actually going to take 
A three. A three. So I'm changing colors. Okay, so I'm going to do something oh, radical. Oh, I don't think you've used that one yet. And That's super just... fluff. Whoa. Okay. Pew. So this is going to put back this color. That's that one. Three is this lovely, oh, I love this stuff, the super fluffy yarn. This is considered like... It looks like wool. Is it wool? It's not. It's, no? Um, just kind it's of a blend looked, of some It just sort. kind of looks like wool. <laughs> it just looks like wool. This is, it's, this is, this kind of calls itself a, a four or five, I think. It's just because it's super fluffy. I really like this stuff. Okay. And this takes a little adjusting. Mm -hmm. That really changes it up. It does. Yes, I like it. I'm also glad to be using this up. I, I have a lot of it from a long time ago, and I've never really done anything with it. Lori says, I'm making big granny squares to start a poncho. Ah, sweet. I'm, I'm very much enjoying mine. <laughs> it's nowhere near done yet, but I'm enjoying wearing it. Waffle crisp cereal. Oh, mm. That sounds good. Oh my gosh. Creme brulee creamer. Oh my gosh. That sounds awesome. Time to get our time to get. I destroyed my two cups of coffee. Yeah, I um, I think I finished my coffee. I've been drinking water here. Probably healthier. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous color. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. Yeah, I love this. It's uh. Kind of like got some pink in it. It's got some peach overtones, some sort of deeper magenta shades. Next Tuesday is Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Oh wow! All the parades have been canceled. Yeah. Boo. Yeah, all of and our lunar bars New are parades closed. Are, are Going canceled. to be a quiet Mardi Gras this mm -hmm. year. Mm. Everything's been canceled. Everything is canceled. <laughs> I wonder how would you how would you do like how I guess you, you could do a virtual Mardi Gras. Well, Mardi Gras, I think one of the big things about the Mardi Gras is the virtual is not the same. It's the parade. So how would you do a virtual Mardi Gras parade? I mean, I mean, really, like that 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 to me sounds like an opportunity for some kind of creative fun. <laughs> I'm always looking for an opportunity for creative fun, but <laughs> yes. Oh, this square is gone from from me to like absolutely astonishing. Time's up, says Shell. Okay, Thank you, Shell. Thanks, so Shell. we are gonna roll. Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> that really changed. It up. really changed. Show up. the difference. Okay, so Show that's the difference. one. That's one square for the hood, and, that's and this the is the square. other square. Look how different they are. It's gonna look like. And I'm going to line it. I'm definitely going to line it. Oh, well, I'm going to make that's it super even better. Warm. Yeah, it'll be more more comfortable. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. line it. Probably use like the flannel as opposed Stronger. to longer. I might even, you know what? Just just for for, I think I might even line it with some crazy print because why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm already mm -hmm. like over the top with color here. All right, so we what are we You've doing? You've already gone crazy with granny squares. I, know, I love it. Crazy squares. Crazy squares. Um. The timer went off, timer so we rolled. Did I roll? No, you didn't roll. I'm waiting for Because I feel roll. like I have a three here. That's the one you were working That's on. That's the one I was okay, working on. Okay, so here comes the new roll. Okay. So start that timer, Shell. <laughs> Two. Two. All right, so I am changing colors. Sweet. Just going to go back if here. If you're playing along. Uh, it's back to my blue. Okay, so that's fine. I think I'm going to transition it back to being just skinny. Can you line it with fleece? Uh, yes. Scotty? Um, I recommend lining, um, especially things like like ponchos and blankets, with any fabric that doesn't fray, just because fraying fabric creates more hassle and work. Um, polar fleece, flannel, flannelette, um, velveteen, like stretch velvet, that stuff. Um, anything that's like a knit fabric, like t-shirt, that'll, none of that phrase so you don't want fraying fabric and that just basically makes the whole process a lot easier 
Um, but of course, like, you know, these yarns are, or these fabrics, I should say, are all, like different weights. Um, you know, you want, if you're going to line a, a hood, for example, like if I might line it with fleece or t-shirt, because it's going to be next to my face. So I want it to feel comfortable against my face. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I want to wear this out and about, then something that's like really thick, like a polar fleece would be soft against my face, but also like cozy too. So. Oh, we are going on a record three hours. Three hours. Okay. So tell you what, let's play a list a little bit longer and then we'll break for today. Yes. Because I'm... that's the longest we've ever gone. And it then is. we'll just pick this up. Same project. We'll just continue with this project. Um, I guess next week. Sure. Yeah. We are at... 259. 259. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what, let me finish this row and we will call it for today. That's a th wow, three hours. That's awesome. And then we'll just uh, recap. So if you want the free printable sheet for this pattern layout, um, you'll find it over on the tools page of our website. So please feel free to pop over, download it, print it out. Um, you can totally get started doing your poncho. <laughs> we talked about sort of some helpful stuff at the beginning of this live stream. So you can always go back. Um, the fun thing too about live streams is that you can, you can watch them over again. You can um, also fast forward through them. So when you are looking at your little, like if you're, on, you're looking at the video player and you mouse over top of it or you tap it with your finger, that bar across the bottom with a little, a little bubble on it shows up. Grab that little circle and you can like fast forward through the through the thing. So if you're like, yeah, yeah, I, I want to get to the part where she was working on the hood or I want to get to the part where she was sewing or something, you can just you can fast forward, rewind all the way through that. And you can do that on any device. Um, so that's if you didn't know you can do that, that's really helpful if you want to go and sort of watch our live streams again, but you don't want to sit through the whole thing because our live streams are really kind of designed to just sort of be a hangout session. You know, we, we have some useful tops of co topics of conversation, but we just basically want to hang out with everybody and have a good time. So if um, you want to sort of quickly get through it or go back and forth or rewind or something, that's where you can do that really easily at the bottom of your video player. Mm -hmm. um, today we talked about, so the sheet, the layout, we've got that. Make sure you grab it and you can start putting your uh, squares together in the same layout you see there. We've got rows two and row three. And then it's pretty obvious how it continues past that. It's basically you're making a big square. Hey, we got a super, super chat. Super, super chat? Yes. Thank you. Big thank you to Sandy. Sandy says, I'm inspired. Thanks, LOL. Sandy. Good. We're so glad to hear that. Uh, please. We're happy to hear that. Yeah. If you guys are working on, on these things, then we, we'd love to know how it's coming. Um, I put the first row together. I, I added this sort of, I closed in the, 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 the neck of it today, just so it, I could wear it and it wouldn't be like too small or too big. It wouldn't sort of pull down either side. That's what it looks like. So that's row one of the granny square poncho complete. I've pulled in the, I've sort of closed in the neck hole. And then I've, we've been working on the two big squares that are gonna be the hood, which we will then attach I don't know, next week, maybe, um, I don't know. We'll see how far we get next week. We also want to put on row two. I've got 16 more <laughs> squares here. You know what? I could see her wearing that poncho for the rest of the day. Probably. Yeah, It's really warm. <laughs> anyway, um, that's where we got to today. So thank you all for joining us. Thanks for playing along. If you were sort of playing the granny square game portion of this live stream, um, don't forget to grab the sheet. We'll put a link to it in the description box and also we'll put a pinned comment below this. So if you back, it's quick to find and if you need the quick link to get to our tools page on our website. Have a really great weekend. Um, Sunday is Valentine's Day. So uh, do something sweet for yourself. Darn it all. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. Happy Lunar happy New Year today. Lunar New Year. And if you and celebrate happy... Family Day, that's family Monday. Day. So um, have a wonderful long weekend if you get to have a long one and otherwise just have a great weekend. Take care, stay safe. Thanks for hanging out. We will see you soon. And um, yeah, more of this poncho construction to come. We're just yeah. gonna build it together. Excellent. Yeah, so great. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Have a have a great weekend. Thank you for, um, I don't know, just thank you for being awesome. You guys are awesome. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Just a quick little thing. If you want a dose of, of happy, um, well, after the stream ends, get onto YouTube and search People are awesome compilations because there are 
there's a lot caught on camera and it's not all bad. A lot of it is amazing. People just jump to help each other and they dive in to help without thinking about a second thought. And those, those people are awesome. Compilations are really awesome. People can do amazing things. They do wonderful things for each other. And I just love watching them because they make me feel so good about how wonderful people are all around us. So if you need a little dose of happy, check that out. Cause that, that is just, I don't know. That's a great way to go into the weekend. I also recommend watching Chinchillas ASMR. Yes, Chinchillas <laughs> Eating Snacks. Chinchillas Eating Snacks yes. ASMR. If you need a super dose of cute, <laughs> Chinchillas Eating oh, Snacks. Oh, what's that new channel with the cat, the lady with the cat? Spoonful of Ragdoll. Oh, yeah. Spoonful That's of Ragdoll. That's a good one. Yeah, if they you love do, cats. They do fantastic videos. They, she, um, she calls herself the butler, and she has a bunch of Ragdoll cats. And, um, she has like 12 of them. They're such, such chill and videos, they're too. And they're spoiled. And they're so cute. So check that out. Yeah, that's, Spoonful of Ragdoll. That's, that's a really that's good That's kind one. of a happy Yeah, happy if you like cats. Yeah. There you go. So. All right, everyone. So we'll see you in Happy notes to leave on. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a great weekend. And um, stay crafty. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Take a little leaf. All my yarn lined up. And I'm gonna wear the uh, poncho all day. Am I gonna? I might. I might. <laughs> I think you are with your half finished so hat nice. and half half finished mitts. <laughs> half finished. <laughs>